Hey everybody, I am just about ready to go. Uh, let me know how I sound. I'm trying to fix the chat right now too. Um, should be fixed in just a second. Usually I just have to delete something and refresh it. There it goes. Uh, Samantha, you are on my to-do list. Uh, you've been on my to-do list all day actually to email you. So, uh, I know, I, I'm, I'm so sorry, um, but yes. I, I apologize. <laughs> it really has been on my list all day, though. <laughs> okay, everybody. Sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, I'll be going in just one second. In the meantime, look at this beautiful cat. Wow. So sleepy, so good. There's my subtle, uh, my subtle pitch that you should uh, purchase crochet kits in my store. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready Jimbo? You're you're perfect. Never change. Let's rock and roll. What are you doing? Okay, just a quick quick bath and then and then we'll get going. All right. <laughs> hey everybody. Welcome. I know it is a it's a much different uh, vibe this time. We're we're changing things up. I know, I'm sorry, Jimbo. Am I being too loud? Yeah, your nap. Did I interrupt your nap? I'm sorry. Here, you can sit right here if you want. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Today, yes, hold on, let me, I gotta do all the intro. Here, you can sit with me while we talk. Today, we are going to be crocheting a bonsai tree. Ha! Um, if you wanna crochet along with me, uh, you need the following things. Uh, the first one is the crochet pattern. Uh, the crochet pattern is available right there, right there, uh, at clubcrochet.com slash bonsai. I think you also might be able to see it in the products on this video. I tried to set it up. I don't know if it works, but there was like an option to like add products. Where would it be? I don't know where it would be. 
Jimbo doesn't know. It's somewhere. There's there's some way to do it, but or you can just get a Club Crochet membership. That's probably the best way to access it. It's the cheapest way too. Um, memberships on my site uh, not only help support this entire channel, but they also hey chill. But they also uh, get you a whole bunch of stuff, like a whole bunch of crochet patterns and tutorials. I add new ones really like every other week right now. I've been adding new ones. Uh, sometimes I go way crazy and go once a week. Uh, sometimes I go only a couple a month, but it's usually pretty often that I'm coming out with new patterns. Uh, but yeah, Club Crochet membership, that's probably your best way to support this channel and to get this pattern. Uh, besides that, you'll need the following things. We're gonna be working off of our brand new seasonal crochet kit that is available now. And next season's crochet kit, you can see in the corner right there, the under the sea kit is gonna be available for pre-order next week. Uh, I'll be emailing you all about that and stuff too. But today we're working off of this season's kit, the photosynthesis kit, which includes all the materials to make all the things that we've been making uh, this month. What have we been making this month? He's so cute. I don't want to move, but we're going to move. We're just going to turn like this so we have easy access to the kit. And then we're going to turn back around and we're going to show the kit off. Ooh, ah, and look at all the materials that we're going to need today. Let's open this guy up. Also, I found something kind of cool out about this kit. So I made these kits so that there are ball winders like built into the, to the box itself. Um, I actually put all of the things we've been crocheting this season into the kit. So we have our little sunflower here, which we'll put. Ugh, it's very difficult to get things done with the furry baby. Sunflower, we got our planet Earth. Okay, that's going over there somewhere. Here is our little cactus. We still have three more patterns to make and we have a bunch of extra material so we'll probably make some extra um cacti while we're at it um but what you'll need for this pattern okay do you want to get up so i can have my arm no okay you're going to need the following colors we're using all worsted weight yarn and 100 percent cotton that's my favorite kind of yarn to use um for this pattern we're gonna be needing the colors forest green. This is gonna be used for the grass. Oh, there you go, bud. You getting up? No, you're laying there, okay. We'll need um, some brown. This is gonna be for the tree itself. And then you'll need a third color for the pot of your tree. Um, you can either use the blue or the beige. Um, I don't have any with the pot made with beige, so I'm going to go ahead and make it with our beige yarn using the pot, which we actually haven't even started using yet, so we have a lot extra, which is perfect. You'll also need from your kit uh, the pipe cleaners. You'll only need about three of these pipe cleaners. Um, it comes with three, so you'll need all of them. But uh, you can use more if you want to add more branches or something, but we'll only need three. And then the big one from this kit, besides the stuffing, and the ah this we do need we do need some of this this is going to be a thread which we're going to use to sew on the leaves uh for the bonsai thank you jimbo and then the last thing that you're going to need are giant pom-poms um the kit actually comes with these i do teach how to make these in a tutorial that comes with the pattern uh, so if you'd like to learn how to make them i do explain that uh, but in the kit comes with these awesome pom-poms that are just, you know, made for the pattern itself. So that'll be, that'll be good. Um, Tegan, you know what? I saw your comment the other day. I haven't seen it on Facebook, but to be honest, I haven't gone on Facebook in a few days. Um, I'm sorry. I meant to go check it actually last night because I knew you were going to be in the live stream, but I totally forgot. My bad. Um, I'll check it after the live stream though. Um, okay, so that's all the materials you're going to need today. I'm gonna be using a size G four millimeter crochet hook for this pattern, um, just because that's the perfect kind of yarn to use with the, uh, I mean, hook to use with the yarn that we're gonna be using. Um, and yeah, I'm really, I'm, I don't know. I think this is a really cool pattern. Uh, this is probably gonna be a double, two-parter live stream. Um, we'll probably be doing this live stream 
and next week because it's kind of a long one. Uh, so, you know, bear with me and just come and, you know, we'll just hang out and we'll talk. We'll, we'll just do whatever. And yeah, and Jimbo will be here to be extra distracting. You know what's funny? I realized that the Jimbo cam, the cat cam, is actually, I think, working better than my actual face cam. Cause like, look how bright I look right now. It's just unreliable. It doesn't know where to focus, whatever. Um, Ryan, oh my God, thank you so much. Ryan, oh, Ryan says, I've never uh, get to watch live, but I thought I'd stop by and support. Thanks for all you do. Dude, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Especially coming from like a father and uh, that's just really cool. I know, you know, Few and far between dudes crocheting, so I, I appreciate the support quite a lot. Um, speaking of the sport, if you like what's going on here and you'd like to support this channel just like Ryan did, uh, there's a few ways you can do so. Um, we'll get to what Ryan's support does in just a second because I have something special today for if you support with a tip or a um, super chat. But the best way to, or the easiest way to support this channel is just to like and subscribe down below. You should just really be doing that. In fact, if this video gets 200 likes, we'll do another giveaway next live stream because we are doing a giveaway in this live stream. Uh, you can use the link in the comments uh, to uh, enter to win a Jimbo pin. It'll look like this. Hold on, actually, I have one right over here. I should have grabbed it. I don't know where the Jimbo pins are, but they are somewhere and they look like this, but it's a pin. Anyhow, you can enter to win one. I'll find one later. Um, my office is a mess right now, so I'm not showing you that side of the office, which is why I'm actually kind of glad that we're doing a live stream this way. Um, but yeah, that is the free cheap way to support this channel. Just like and subscribe down below. If you like what's going on here and want to support monetarily, Please consider uh, becoming a Club Crochet member, which we just talked about earlier, purchasing merch and kits in the store, um, like our seasonal crochet kits or um, the dinosaur crochet kits. We got a bunch of merch like Jimbo shirts and pins and stuff. Um, great way to support the channel. And then the, be the last way to support the channel is by tipping or supporting with a super chat, which we have two of already. Ryan, again, thank you so much for your support. And special thanks to Cooper, who is our, like, guru? I don't really even know what to call you, Cooper. You're just our biggest supporter, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Cooper. Um, both of which tipped $10. Uh, da, 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 da. This was one of the first patterns that Cooper did, and they were very unprepared. <laughs> very cool. I'm excited to crochet it with you. Um, to, if you support with a tip today, I'm going to add something to the background. Now, the unfortunate thing is you can't really see the pipe there that goes above the fireplace because that's where I was going to put stuff. So instead, we're going to put stuff around the fireplace itself. Uh, for everybody that supports, we'll put something different um, and it'll just stay there until, I don't know, I realize that I want to change the room, I guess. Um, <laughs> Tegan says that their club crochet binder is getting really heavy. That's great. <laughs> That's awesome that they just print things out. Okay, so as a special, oh, you know what? Here's what we'll do. I'm gonna put out some stuff. I got a great idea. Okay, so. As part of next month's um, seasonal crochet kit for Under the Sea, I've been working on a lot of different Under the Sea patterns. Honestly, next month's kit is gonna be dope AF. You are going to dig it. I guarantee you're gonna love it. Um, but to get started, I thought maybe every time someone supports, I'll add one of the patterns from next season's kit uh, into the background somewhere and I'll show it off a little bit. Um, so we'll start with what the new pattern, like a preview of what the newest pattern for the uh, seasonal crochet kit is going to be. Now these are things that I made 
literally when I started crocheting, I got really into making these little things, but I never came out with a pattern for them. Why? I don't know. I just never did. Never had the opportunity. I don't know why I never did, but uh, I decided this is, you know, the perfect timing for it. And I think you'll really like it. So we're going to start with Ryan support and we're going to add just the classic. Yes, just the classic. A tiny itsy bitsy. Will it, will it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Filter there. Wait, no, right there. There you go. A tiny itsy bitsy whale that are crazy, crazy easy to make. So again, these are what I made in the beginning of my um, crochet career. I used to love making these. These are like the first things that I ever designed. Um, and obviously I've gotten a lot better at crocheting since then. So we're upgrading it and we're adding a bunch of different customizations to it. So as a special thanks to Cooper, we're going to show the first customization for our whale to make it into a killer whale. Again, these patterns are gonna be out in the beginning of, come on, lock onto the right thing, there you go. Uh, these patterns are gonna be available in the beginning of next season's crochet kit. So if you want them, you'll pre be pre-ordering the seasonal crochet kit that I'll have available next week, or just get an annual pass, which is essentially pre-ordering it for the cheapest option. Okay, so we're gonna add these to the background for Cooper and Mr. Ryan. Thank you again for your guys' support. Um, I think we'll just start adding them on the top of our fireplace here next to our cacti. We'll put it next. This is a this is a portrait of a um, a woggle that I made named that I didn't make. I didn't make it. A woggle that I found named um, Tolby, but he got lost in the Yosemite Mountains. Now, I know it was Jules's fault. <laughs> Not really. It was no one's fault. All right, let's get crocheting, bud. Yeah, okay. Tell everybody. Good job. Wow, you're so talented. The most talented kitty that ever did cat. All right, so we're going to be making branches. We got actually, we've got a, quite a lot of uh, crocheted branches to make. We forgot to log into our website, bud. Let's log into our site so we get the pattern. Yes, use my thumb. That's fine. Is this where you're going to sit during the stream? This is going to be difficult, bud. This is why it's going to be a two-parter live stream. Because Jimbo always makes things much more difficult when we're in these, in this sitting position. But it's more fun. It's more fun if you ask me. Okay, pulling up the pattern. Oh, Tegan, the first thing that they crocheted was actually the Triceratops. Dope! Oh my god, I've been thinking a lot about that Triceratops. I don't want to spoil anything for next season, but... There's something that I made that's kind of changed my perspective of, of crochet patterns for the future that I'm very excited to share. Okay, bud, this seems like a good position for you. No, 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 face this way. No, no, we're not, we're not playing. Oh, that's my arm. Okay. Yep, you're doing great. Okay, great. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, go to your bed. That's the best place for you to be. You know, this little dude. Very cute. Very hard to crochet with. Leela, first thing Leela made was a penguin. You know, I really need to get penguins made. I think eventually I want to do a season of like Arctic crochet or something, you know? And I think that would be the perfect time to make penguins and stuff. Now that we're doing these seasons, it's more fun to like think about, I don't know. I have like a lot of fun thinking about, ooh, let's do a season on bugs and what kind of bugs would I make? Okay, one, two, three, four. But yeah, is anybody else crocheting today? What, what's everybody making? Anybody making something fun? Yeah, I know, I know, exactly, Cooper. So, um, I actually have a video where I, I did like a, like a, not a documentary, but kind of like a documentary about wobble, woggles. Um, these are, these are little creatures that I found that look like crocheted amigurumi, but they're not. Um, they actually just camouflaged to look like my crocheted amigurumi so that I wouldn't catch them. But eventually I found them and discovered a bunch of stuff about them. 
I actually might own the woggles.com maybe. I don't know, but I brought them on a vacation to, I brought three of them on a vacation to Yosemite once. And one of them fell down the mountains in the, of Yosemite. And it was really sad. His name was Tolby. And uh, the crazy thing about Woggles are that they reproduce asexually, so they don't need a secondary one to reproduce. Which means that Yosemite is probably filled with them, but they're really hard to find because they are born to match whatever landscape they are near. That's why they look crocheted. So they probably look like rocks and trees and stuff. So it'd be hard to find them. They also don't move unless someone is, unless nothing is looking at them. It's very whimsical of them, but also makes it very hard to catch them. If you want to learn more about them, they're on my original YouTube channel, Louis Loops, um, which you can find, you know, on YouTube. It's like a whole series I made about the discovery of those. They're very fun though. Leela just started crocheting in October. Oh my God, you're one year. You're, or you're about half a year, I guess. Oh, hey, by the way, Little Treasures by Nancy. Thank you for commenting. Uh, they said that they posted their cactus for the crochet challenge. There is a crochet challenge going on right now. Uh, all you need to do is crochet a cactus and post a picture and the winner is gonna win a that and under the sea seasonal crochet kit. So it's a pretty big prize. Uh, all you need to do is crochet a cactus and post a picture of it. Uh, I put all the information in the description uh, or at clubcrochet.com slash challenge. I think Cooper has been posting it in the chat every now and then. So if you want to learn more about that and enter the challenge, there is not that many entries. You are, you have a pretty solid chance. Um, and the submission window is closing. I think the submissions end on um, after next live stream. So you have like basically one more week. And then we're gonna choose, I'm gonna choose my four favorites from the submissions and then uh, y'all are gonna choose the winner. So that is how it works. If you got any questions about that, uh, just let me know. Now is your chance to ask. Loop and Pearl podcast, great question. Uh, Jules and I have been thinking about it and trying to work on it. Um, our plans are we want to, we kind of want to like change the way that it works a little bit, make it a little bit more like episodic, not episodic as if you, as in you have to like watch every episode, but more like you can just tune in easier and we're going to be talking about like specific projects and stuff also look at this location for a, a podcast is this not the most podcast like there's another one of these chairs right next to it um jules is going to be done with work pretty soon so uh she might be joining us on the live stream and i don't know it's just a really cool setup and i'm excited to use it but yeah we will see we will see hey rebecca how you doing how have you been? Okay, we got four rounds of single crochets now. By the way, if you are stuck at any point and you'd like to ask for any help, um, I know this isn't probably the best position for me to show you how to crochet and stuff, but if you want help, I can maybe try to make it work. Just let me know. Um, this pattern is relatively straightforward and I did do a full video tutorial for it, so that should help a lot. But, you know, if you're really stuck and, and you really want help, I can do my bestest. Jimbo is doing his uh, daily hour-long bath of just his armpit. He does this every day. He just licks this one spot on his body for an hour. It drives me crazy. He'll just be soaking, but just his armpit. <laughs> it's so funny. Currently on holiday. Well, happy holiday. I hope you're having a good one. What's every, is anybody else crocheting today? If so, what you making? What 
Jamaican. I'm wondering if I should, um, well, I guess Jules and I have been thinking about doing more, uh, let's play and crochets, especially cause she's really, really into, um, Zelda right now. And that would be a really fun one to do a let's play with, especially like in our spot right here. Uh, but it did, did make me start thinking about like the live streams and, and like, Kind of like struck like spreading our wings a little bit and trying other things um i know i've been talking about doing let's plays a lot but i also have been thinking about doing like a simultaneous youtube and twitch live stream at the same time i'm assuming no one here or a few people here watch twitch for live streams but if you do let me know in the comments i do have questions about how it works and stuff like that but I don't, I just don't really know it very well, you know? I don't understand how, there's like a subscribe thing there where you can get like, and, the, and then there's like bits and stuff, and I just don't understand Twitch enough. Susan's making the flat cactus, I love that. Flactus, if you will. Rebecca's making a black horse. How big, full horse size? actual horse-sized horse or shorts <laughs> d sunday said that they got a yarn winder and then made a mess is that your first time using it that was my first time using it i did the same thing i made just like just a tangled mess of yarn and i still do if i'm being honest every now and then i'm using it i'm like how did I forget to use the, how to use this thing? And sometimes it just like gets loose and then everything just goes crazy. So I totally get it. I'm turning this brightness down because I look like a ghost. Okay, hopefully that helps. Haul of a pony, oh, half a pony size, helping a cousin make it. Oh, that's cute. Tegan's just been playing video games. I totally feel that. What games are you playing, Tegan? Anybody else excited for the new Pikmin? I need to play, I need to play the new Zelda like way more because I need to beat it because when Pikmin comes out, I'm gonna wanna play that like way, way more. I need to get my stuff together and uh, beat up Ganon. No, I'm not ready for Ganon. I've only done a little bit of the game. I get so distracted playing it. And then I realize like I've been playing for three hours and I haven't done anything. <laughs> Does anybody else have that problem? Ooh, Leah's, cra Leela's creating, uh, crocheting a uh, Queen Elizabeth from a book called Iconic Women. That's cool. That's way cool. Three. Oh no, did I goof this? No, I didn't. No, I didn't goof up anything. Oh, that's fun that your cousin crochets too, that you guys get to have that together. I don't really have any family that crochets. My cousin, I, I've taught my cousin to crochet a little bit, but she only made a beanie. And then after that, she was kind of like, eh. I was like, but it's awesome. I love these bonsai trees that we're making right now. I have so many of them. I already have like four of the four or five of these bonsai trees, and I'm doing a um, like a what is it called? Like an event, like a like a like a booth 
in July. My friend uh, worked for the, she's a librarian at the library uh, in my town, Thousand Oaks. And so she is, uh, they're doing a, like a, like a street fair kind of thing, but at the library where everybody gets their own table. And she was like, will you do it please? I'd love for you to be there. And I was like, yeah, of course. So I'm kind of excited to have all these bonsai trees so I can sell a few of them. I don't know if they'll sell, especially cause I'm gonna charge, you know, my time. And whenever it comes to selling things online or not online, selling like my crochet in person, I always feel a little bit like I don't wanna, you know? Because I've just spent so much time doing it. And sometimes I'm just like, I don't wanna sell that. You know what I mean? Ooh! Witchy boy, you play Pikmin Bloom? I play Pikmin Bloom so much. Oh, my phone's over here. But dude, I play it all the time. You wanna be friends on Pikmin Bloom? Me, actually, I think there's some, there's a few people in here that we are friends on Pikmin Bloom and we do like walks and stuff. I play it all the time, like literally daily I play that game. And I'm always looking for more friends on there. So if you wanna be buds, uh, let me know. One, two, three. I should have shaved today. My face feels itchy. Oh yeah, definitely not, Leela. You you need a you got a little bit more experience I think you need before you start selling. But I don't think that you're that far away from it. I started selling stuff when I was in high school, like freshman year of high school. And uh, you know, turned into a career, so it's definitely a good idea. Oh, Ruby used to live in the valley. Cool. I've got a few friends that live there. Um, one of the people that used to help run the website, Nicole, actually, uh, she just moved to the valley. Three. For um, those non-Californians out there, the valley is, you know, like, you ever heard of someone saying like, making fun of valley girls? Like, oh my God, I, I'm a valley girl, like blah, 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 blah. That's the valley. Yeah, Cooper, I send you presents in Pick and Bloom like all the time, actually. And I invite you to walks and stuff, even though I know you're not gonna see them because you never play. I'm not trying to guilt you into playing, by the way. I'm just, I just don't have any other friends on there and I wanna send stuff to people. So I just send them to you <laughs> and to Gecko, a normal Gecko. Am I off count here? I feel like I'm off count. No, I'm not. There's just one more stitch here. Tegan, uh, have I ever played Big Snacks? Well, no, what's Big Snacks? Never heard of that. Ooh, you're near Philly. I used to, I really, really, oh, your name is, your username is Witchy Boy. I don't know if we can exchange just usernames or not. You know what, hey dude, can you email me after this? Just louie at clubcrochet.com and say like, in the subject to say like Pikmin Bloom friends and I'll just send you my um I think there's like a friend code on it and I'll just send you it there because I would send it now but my phone is being used to watch Jimbo so I can't really do that right now um okay one last round of single crochets and we'll be done with one of our branches which is basically like not like a third but that's like that's like a fifth of the way done. It's not too bad. Again, we're doing this as like a double feature. So we're gonna be going probably till maybe around six today. And then after, uh, and then next week we'll finish it up. I think that's eight. And then we'll slip stitch. And we'll have our little branch done. I the, One of the things I really like about this pattern is as you make the little branches, you have little, thing, little, little witchy fingers that are kind of fun. Oh, so check this out. 
I found out that these seasonal crochet kits, I, so I made them, see that little cutout right there? I made them so that you can like put yarn in it and then pull the yarn out and it works really well. But what I realized about it is it actually holds your scissors too. Look, they go like perfectly in there and you can close the thing around the scissors so that the scissors are on the outside so that they're easily like accessible. Isn't that dope? I thought that was so cool. It was just like, oh my God, this is perfect. All right, so what's big snacks? Oh, bug snacks. Oh yes, I have played bug snacks. Yes, I like bug snacks a lot actually. I met someone that, that had worked on it. I think that's why I played it originally. And I was like, oh, this is great. I actually don't think I ever beat it because it was just so, like I just got so involved and then usually I have this really bad habit of like almost beating a game and then not beating it because I wanna like prolong it. It's a really, really bad habit. I, I don't like it about myself. I really wish I could just beat a game, but sometimes it feels like when you beat a game, it's like gone forever, you know? And so sometimes I have a hard time like essentially like letting it go, you know? But. But I don't know, I don't know. Hope you guys are also having a pretty chill day. Jimothy. <laughs> hey Jim, how you doing? You did that with The Witcher 3, yeah. I did that with, um, I did that with the original, like with Breath of the Wild. I took forever. I just was like, I don't want to beat Ganon. I know I can, I don't need to go there and beat him. Um, and yeah, I did that with Bug Snacks. I, I honestly, there's a bunch of games. Metroid Dread. I'm like literally right in front of the boss in Metroid Dread. And I was like, I don't want to beat it yet. And now it's been so long. I don't even know if I could beat it if I wanted to, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a detriment to my whole game to not finish it. Ooh, I love that Ruby. That's a really good point. St streaming a game would have a lot of accountability and like an excuse to beat it. I totally agree with that. Hey Cosmo, how you doing dude? Hope you're having a good day, my dude. Where are you at today? Where are you and the family? Five Worlds Explorer are always, they're, they're always in a different place. They're, they're moving around, they're nomads almost. It's very cool. Super cool family dynamic, in my opinion. Two, and then an increase. I love that this chair can spin all the way around. It makes me feel so free. Someone's gonna join this live stream and just be like, what the heck is this dude doing? He's just spinning in a circle crocheting. Yeah, dude, get with it. The start of these branches is really tough because you're only crocheting like five stitches in the middle of a, the round and it's just like, really tiny it's it's just hard to get into the, all these stitches in the beginning and then it gets easier but just complaining a little bit currently in germany gesundheit <laughs> see you later oscraft yeah me and jules are doing great uh jules has start just started improv uh, last week, which is really fun for her. And I want to start improv, but I haven't yet. And we've just been chilling, crocheting, just hanging out, playing a lot of Zelda. Way too much Zelda, to be honest. Okay. Hold on. We got to get into a better position here, but. I like this position a lot. It does start to hurt my back eventually, but 
it also kind of feels great. Javote is the cutest little dude. You can see him on the cat cam, right? Yeah. There's no such thing as too much Zelda. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> I mean, I love it, don't get me wrong. Zelda is great, but it's also like, obsessive. It's very easy to get obsessed with it. Three, wait, four, five, did I mess up around? Oh, I'm, no, I didn't, I almost did. But you know what? I caught it and I'm actually on the stitch that I need to be on. Yeah, highly suggested, witchy boy, that you should definitely finish Breath of the Wild because once I started playing the new game, I was like, I, can, I don't think I can ever go back. It's like so good and yeah. Really, really good game. 10 out of 10. Nintendo's at it again. 10 out of 10-ing this stuff. I think this might be one of my favorite of our of the songs in in the like lo-fi music that we play on the live stream this one might be one of my favorites it's just very chill and like kind of goofy i totally forgot to email about the live stream today oh i just realized there's a whole camera here that doesn't even do anything what a, why <laughs> <laughs> Why did I leave that? <laughs> Oops. I guess I'll fix it later. Do you play guitar? Uh, I don't play guitar. That's a bass, um, not a guitar actually, but Jules plays guitar uh, a lot. She's very good at guitar. And I play a little uh, ukulele. I, I, I'm actually, I'm pretty good at ukulele, I think. But yeah, Jules plays guitar. She's a uh, she's in a band actually called um, Baird and Beluga. They're on Spotify. They only have a few songs, but they're very good. You should check them out. She's a very very good artist. She's got a bunch of music. Did I make a crab pattern for the under the sea kit? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe there's gonna be a crab pattern. Maybe you'll just have to wait and see. I'll tell you what, I did make a really cool pattern this week for it that I, Jules was like, you should show it on the live stream, but I'm not, I don't want to yet. Um, so this is a super tease. I'll show it off eventually. It is honestly, last Friday, I think I made one of my favorite patterns I've ever made that I'm not ready to share. It's really, really good and very easy to make. I like it a lot. Not to overhype myself, but it is way cool. And I think you're gonna like it. I've made like 30 of them already. What could it be though? All right, see you, Krishandro. Thanks for joining. Hope you have a great day. See you, Leela. Yeah, I know it's like an extra chill live stream today, so I understand. No worries at all. Hey, Ivy, how you doing? 
Am I doing any pride streams this month? Oh, I don't really know what a pride stream would be. Just like crocheting something rainbow? Uh, or just celebrating LGBT, maybe? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Um, I, but I definitely should. We should be doing like, at the very least, we should do some giveaways and stuff. Pick and poke designs. I am having an awesome day. How's your day going? Let's sit up. Let's sit up, Jimbo. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wake you. I kind of did, but not really. I don't want to poke the bear. Thanks, Eli. Definitely, definitely aiming for those cozy vibes. No question there. I wish I had a second coffee. I think I have a little bit of coffee left though. It's interesting crocheting in this position. Like, I don't know, it's weird. But kind of fun, but kind of fun. <laughs> you love the cat cam? Here, I'm not doing too much. Let's, let's watch Jimbo for just a sec. Here, I'll turn off the, that thing. Look at how cute he is. What a little baby. Lisa. How you doing, Lisa? Lisa knits and vlogs. That's what I've heard. Oopsies. Lisa, I like your thumbnail. I mean, your, your, uh, I like your, uh, you know, image. I like, you're like this. Looks dope. <laughs> How is Jimbo behaving today? You know, he was a little, he was a little wily at first, but he's been chilling pretty well. Uh, that being said, it's always just a matter of time before he awakes and the beast emerges prepared to meow. What are we making? We are making, we are currently making a, a bonsai tree. So you actually, you, you can kind of see one in the background like way up there. Um, but we're working on a bonsai tree. So currently we're working on the um, one of the branches. We finished one branch. And then we got another, we're gonna do another branch here and then a third branch. And then uh, we'll make the grass and then we'll make the, um, the pot, the pot. Yes, the beast is resting, ready for his next battle. Absolutely. We should make a Jimbo dragon. Oh my god. A Jimba. Jim. Jim. Bragon? A Dringo? Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. We are making a mess. Oh wait, that's you. 
<laughs> There's not much room for more of a mess in this room, to be completely honest. At the back of this camera is very messy right now. Ooh, leaf sauce. That's a good question. We'll have to ask her. She'll be here um, in a little bit. She's finishing up work. Uh, she won't be done with work till like five, but she'll be she'll be around then, and we'll we'll ask. But I totally agree. I think she needs to do more let's play or knit alongs. One, two, three. Four, five, six, and then increase. All right, now we just have a bunch of rounds of eight, I'm pretty sure. Oh, just two rounds, okay. When are we going to Japan? Uh, we're, prob we're planning on going to Japan in September, but we might actually end up going for um, New Year's, which could be kind of fun. But honestly, we're not totally sure just yet. We're still figuring it out. Definitely want to go this year. Um, we're just not, not sure on the month yet. Not sure on the month yet. How is Jules? She's doing well. Oh, she's gonna love that everybody's asking so much. That's that's cute. Um, she's doing well. She is uh, just working, just working a bunch. Uh, started doing improv recently and playing a lot of Zelda. That's that's kind of what we've been doing. Oh, no, 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 uh, Tegan, this is not messy. That is messy. That what you can't see is very messy. Like, it's pretty bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. Where I normally live stream is like, there's yarn everywhere. Everywhere. There's like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not great. Have I been to Japan before? We did, we went to Japan in 2019 uh, and I loved it. It was so great. Um, yeah, big, Big fan, big fan of Japan. Um, yeah, it was really fun. And since then, I've been actually studying Japanese for about, I studied it for four years in high school, but I didn't really remember any of it. So I picked up Duolingo recently and I've been doing it for almost two years now. So I know a little bit, Chisai. One. But I I don't I barely know any of it though really, I'll be able to like say certain stuff but I won't be able to understand anything I'm sure of that. But it'll be fun it'll be fun to like try. I really need a Japanese like like pen pal or something to like push myself you know. We want to go for our honeymoon as well. Oh my God, that's so cool, I, uh, Cosmo. Maybe we'll be there around the same time. I'll say hi. I'll wave to you. That's way cool though, that we're gonna be there around some more times, if, if I do go around that. See you later, Lisa. Thanks for joining. Have fun. You're in Melbourne, you said? Hope you have a great day. Is it the start of the day or the end of the day there? Well, who knows? We'll find out. Did I see the new Spider-Man movie? No, I'm going to see it tomorrow night with my brother, Ivy. It was a good. It looked good. I rewatched, um, Jules and I went to go see Guardians of the Galaxy on Monday. I had already seen it once, but she wanted to see it in theaters. Not, you know, second viewing, not, not my favorite. I gotta say, it was not my favorite one. 
He was okay. But there's a lot of... I don't know. Just not my favorite one. Four, nine... Oh, and then four more. Okay. We're almost done with our second branch. Two... Three and four. And then a slip stitch. All right. Second branch is done. Next we'll have our third branch. Where'd our first one go though? Ah, oh, here it is. I got two. This one looks longer than this one. I, f I fear I make made a mistake somewhere, but... No. I don't think so. Okay. Scissors back in the scissor spot so we don't forget where it is. And keep on keeping on. You're burnt out of Marvel. I agree a little bit with that Ivy. I'm burnt out of some Marvel for sure. Like, but that being said, I do want to watch like, I want to know what happens. <sighs> oh, coffee. I want more of this, more coffee. I've been doing coffee with oat milk recently. So good. It's so good, and I, and apparently it's better for me, so that's good too. One fifty four. I declare a thumb war. Five six seven eight. Try to keep your thumb straight. Cooper, thank you. Yes, enter the giveaway. There's probably, there's not a lot of viewers today, so the giveaway is probably going to be pretty easy to win. Not gonna lie. Um, all you need to do is fill out a little form. I'm just asking basic questions like, what do you want to be called if you win? And uh, I ask, uh, what's your favorite movie? And um, what was, what's the last question on there? Oh, do you have any podcast recommendations? I'm actually looking for new podcast recommendations. So if you got any, uh, go ahead and enter the giveaway and let me know because I'm looking. I'm just like, Jules and I are caught up on a lot of things that we listen to together. And so I need something that I, to listen to by myself. And I listen to a lot of D&D podcasts. So, I mean, if you got a good suggestion for one of those, I know I'd like it, but also I'm looking for other suggestions too. If you got any. Oh, interesting. Witchy boy, are you just into witches? Sounds to me like you're just a big fan of witches. Which is it? Get it? Which? Which? which is... Anyhow. <laughs> we have a friend uh, that we have a friend in San Francisco and she always goes so after like every other sentence and so Jules and I always do that at the end of sentences we'll go so love you Jude if you're out there one two back to that one. I forgot how to do the start. Oh, there you go. Two increase. Got it. One, two, and then an increase. Understood. Understood. Past Lou. Extra pom poms. Like, I'm gonna use the pom poms in the kit, but 
course. But I also have like, I bought, I bought like a thousand pom poms because I wasn't sure what kind of pom poms I wanted to have in the kits. So I bought a like a whole bunch of extra pom poms for for these kits. So now I have just like a crazy amount. So I thought it might be kind of fun to just like go wild with this tree and make like a crazy amount of pom poms. But I don't know. Oh hey, speaking of trees, uh, my dad finished up the tree for the the tip tree but it's not here yet i need to go over tomorrow and give him feedback on it but he started working on it so all that all that poking and prying that we did last week has has paid off all that poking and prying has paid off pretty good alliteration is jules working on any shows right now uh she is not she's auditioning for a few shows um but uh, right now she's just been doing improv classes. She just started it this week, um, which has been pretty big and, um, and yeah, auditioning for shows, looking for just options and stuff, but she's, she's on the search for sure. Thank you for all the little celebration clicks or whatever, whoever's doing that. I don't really know what those do, but I see them and they're cool. It'd be cool to be able to like track those and make like a like a bar or something that fills up if you like every time you click one of those little celebrate or hearts or whatever. That'd be pretty cool. And then like eventually it'll fill up all the way and we'll do like a giveaway. That would be neat. I don't know how to do that, but that would be a really cool idea. If anybody knows how to If anybody wants to help out with like stuff on the backgrounds of live streams like do using those bits or or giving me feedback on how like Twitch works, highly, I would love that. That would be super helpful. Because I do not understand how it all works. Especially Twitch. Twitch is a scary, confusing place. In, in my experience. It's kind of fun. But I just understand YouTube, I think, a little bit better. It's simple. My new obsessive crochet pattern that I'm not going to even show you uh, is very, it really eats into your, uh, into the, into your safety eyes. So I'm running like super low on safety eyes right now. Look at this. This is all I have left of my of my six millimeter safety eyes because I've just been <laughs> using them all on these new crochet things that I'll share soon. I'm not sure about actually live streaming on it though but you can help you can help out a bit from the viewer side oh okay cool yeah it might be like it is not a spider it is not a spider but i did think about how to make a spider with this kind of technique um uh cooper uh not actually um oh uh it might be nice to do like some test live streams and figure it out with you. Twitch specifically. I just want to know like, I really want to understand how the subscribing works and how the bits work. I need to just watch some tutorials. I think I can live stream at both simultaneously, but I don't really understand. I don't know if that's like against the rules or something. I used to do that on Louie's Loops, but no one ever would watch on the Twitch side, so. Oh, my dad's here. Hi, dad. My dad said that the tree is almost done in the chat. I'm going over there tomorrow to give feedback and, and look at it a little bit more. Very exciting, though. 
I'm wondering if I should crochet things around the tree because it's it's all metal. I mean, obviously it's going to depend on what it looks like, but you know, I was kind of thinking of making what we're making right now to go around the metal parts of the tree, you know, because it's going to be like all made out of just like bars of metal. And so it kind of could be fun to like crochet around it all. So that way it'd be easier to add pom poms to. And I don't know, it just be, could be kind of fun. Is Phoebe doing well? Phoebe's always doing well. Phoebe's the best. Sorry, Jimbo. Look, Jimbo just left because we said that. She's like, oh, oh, Phoebe's the best. Okay, cool. I'm out of here. But yes, Phoebe is doing great. G R E 8. Create. Hi, Jimbo. Four rounds of six. Anybody else been playing any cool games or excited about any new games or reading any cool books? I need to get back into reading. I used to read comics all the time, but I haven't in a while. I picked up a new, well, not new, new to me Ray Bradbury book. I just did not like it. it. It was just so boring. And ever since that, I've been like, eh, not really into reading right now. But I really should get back into it. Maybe I'll just read one of my favorite books again because I know I'll like it, you know what I mean? Um, Pick and poke designs, who is Phoebe? Phoebe is our other cat, our much more shy cat. Every now and then you'll, you'll get a glimpse of Phoebe. She's very, very cute. She looks like a, I call her a standard issue kitty cat because she's like just like a brown tabby. Um, but she's way cute, I like her a lot. She really likes belly scratches, which is even cuter. B and E, thank you for subscribing. Sure, yeah. Jules is gonna bring in Phoebe. Do you wanna say hi, Phoebe? Here, do you wanna sit here? Jules is going to take this spot and I'm going to zoom out the camera to go to the other spot so she can introduce Phoebe to you. Hi everybody. This is Phoebe. I just woke her up. Sorry, my sweet baby girl. Never wake the baby. <laughs> but that's what I've done. And I couldn't help but overhear you talking about our standard issue kitty, so I thought we could introduce her. I'm trying to set it up so I can get double pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. You can see the, yeah, the top of the bag. The mouth. The om -nom -nom. Oh, this. The mom monomal. Hi, Cooper. Hi, everybody. That's a pretty, this is a pretty good setup. I like this. Yeah, it's nice. It's kind of weird having a fire on when it's so warm today. It's not a real fire, folks. Yeah, you can't wondering. tell. Yeah. <laughs> And look, we both got a little chat that we can read. As long as you rub Phoebe's belly, she'll hang out with you. It is, yeah, that is absolutely true. Unless a motorcycle drives by and then she wants to jump out of your arms. Yeah, that's really, it's really frustrating, actually. I'm gonna crochet like this. So oh, that looks so ergonomic. It's, it's my favorite, it's actually <laughs> my favorite position to sit in on these chairs. Yeah. It is not ergonomic, though. I, I was being facetious. Well, thanks a lot. You're welcome. You need to call me facetious now. Feet cetious. Feet cetious at your service. <laughs> uh, I was telling them about your improv. <gasps> wow. And they were asking a bunch of questions about what you've been up to. Oh gosh, I've been up to improv. I took one class. Yeah, I so told far. them. I told them improv and uh, and Zelda. Lots of Zelda. That's actually wow. what I'm looking forward to most today. Phoebe is fully... Hi, honey. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's she's in that mode where she's just like, 
I'll put up with this because you're petting my belly, but that's the only reason. <laughs> yeah. Every now and then you can do it long enough where she'll fall asleep. Just trying to pull up the that because I didn't know how quiet. Oh, yeah, it's pretty quiet from over here. I won't. Do you want me to change the, to point the speaker? No, no, I'll, I, I'll point. I'll change it in just a second. You do tend to be louder than me anyway. Yeah, true. Hi, Bibi. Poor Phoebe. She really just puts up with with us. That's yeah. She unfortunately she gets bullied around by Jimbo quite often because he's so much bigger. But them's the breaks. Um, but yeah, I've been doing improv and I've been doing very little designing because I hurt my elbow a while ago and I just haven't been knitting as much. Yeah, it's been taking her a little bit longer to get back into the groove. But I am wearing uh, a future design on my body right now. The, you never released that? No. Wow. Because the way that this knits up, it starts at the top and it goes down and it's on a bias to make this V shape. So what happens is the number of stitches you cast on, instead of thinking about, okay, how is this gonna fit in around around my body? I have to think of it like a square around my body. Oh yeah. So the number you cast on that might normally be 40 inches in the round turns into like 32 inches so when all is said and done. So it's a lot of math that I don't totally understand. So I need to find a tech editor who's willing to do that, and I keep putting it off because I don't like math very much. <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. But wearing it makes me want to work on it more. I, I know, sweetie. I know. Here you go. You're free now. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you, Phoebe. Yeah. So this is this is the shirt that I knit. It's very cute. Thank I can't you. believe you haven't released it yet. I don't know. you have one that's a long sleeve too? No, no, I don't. Is it just the same colors, maybe? That I've seen something that you made. No, it's just been done for a long time. Got it. Yeah. What are yeah. you making? I am making a bonsai tree. Uh, we are working on the third branch of it. The other two are... Here? Yes. These little sausages? Little sausages. Did you put them on your finger already? I did. Little witch fingers. I feel like uh, Edward Tree Hands. <laughs> Edward Tree... <laughs> Edward Tree Hands. Edward... Um, Bonsai hands. Bonsai hands? Edward Bonsai. 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 Aw, thanks, Cooper. He said my shirt was adorable. That's very sweet. It's very sweet. And Little Treasures by Nancy says very pretty and nice colors. Thanks. You both get gold stars. You need to draw a gold star on your forehead for me. <laughs> You guys have to. You have to. Did you do it? Did you? Did you? See, this could totally be podcast setup. What do you guys think? Is this a good setup for future podcasts? Especially if we had mics. Yeah. Yeah. And bonsai fingers. And bonsai fingers? Like a whole lot of bonsai fingers? Um, I, I don't have a lot going on at work right now. So I thought I'd pop in a little early. That's right great. I, I, I also, love the company. I also wanted to ask you, um, would you like something to drink, like an iced tea? I would love uh, either an iced tea or an iced coffee. It would be great. I'll make you an iced coffee. I would love that. You look so a little sleepy. I'm a little sleepy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. I'm not that bad, but I'm okay. a little sleepy. Okay, I'll make that in a second. I'm sorry. No rush. We're going to be going till about 6 tonight. And then I'm going to play board games, I think, with Chris. Yay! Should be fun. Cool. I get the house all to myself. Yeah. I and wonder it's your what Friday. I'm gonna do. I know it's my Friday. I took tomorrow off. And everybody that I talked to today has been like about something completely unrelated. Everybody at work has said, Thank you, Jules. Also, uh, I hope you have a great time off tomorrow, whatever you're doing. And I tell them, I'm doing absolutely nothing. Thank you. I'm gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be great. They think I'm like traveling or going to some event. Nope. Just needed a day. And uh, one one of my coworkers was really proud of me <laughs> for just taking a day. You should. Know? Like, honestly, especially your coworkers, they should be doing that. 
Oh, and they do. I encourage them to when it makes sense. Yeah. So for my day job, I'm an executive assistant and I manage my whole team of executive assistants in my office. So I'm the one that uh, approves all of the pay time off requests. And I encourage people who don't use their PTO to use it and they don't listen to me. And then I, <laughs> yeah. and then I have to tell people who use it too often to stop. So that's, that's a big part of my job. That's maybe like 10% of my job. Making sure people... Is that really only 10%? It feels like... Yeah, it's only 10%. Well, I guess it's only yeah. part of the management side of things. Yeah, because if an, if an assistant is out, but their partner and manager whom they assist is working, I need to make sure there's another assistant working to help them out. So that's my job. Yeah. It's, it's, it can be a lot of work. Yeah. And then for those who don't know me, I'm Louis' fiance, and I design knitwear. So that's why I was bragging about my shirt. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, my day job's for survival purposes. Yes, our survival <laughs> job. I've gotten away from mine. Now it's now we want to get you away from yours. Make it all survival. I really like uh, the place I work for, though. Yeah. I've been there for good, over five years. They're really good people. I really like it, yeah. My coworkers are, are pretty solid. And the, the organization does really, really great work in the world. So it's very fulfilling in that way. Um, but, you know, we're very artistic people. Yeah. We want to do our artistic things all the time. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, little... Uh, Nancy said that they don't have gold for a star. Mm, well, silver. silver. Yeah, okay. But you got to write gold in the star. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Silver so, so people you know. know. Yeah. So they know. Genius. You deserve the gold, but you got the silver. And then you, Twiz, you were Twiz finally finished their first branch. Congratulations. How many branches are you making total? Three? Three. Yeah, I'm on my last one right now. And then are you using these big pom-poms? Yeah, well, the next thing after this, I believe, is making the pot. And we're going to be doing a beige pot today because I don't have any beige pots. Um, yeah. Nancy has been doing blue ones. Yeah. And then uh, we might get to the grass. I have a feeling we'll finish the beige pot, and then that'll probably be the end of the stream today because after that, we just have the um, green grass. And the charm? This is the charm. Like, the third branch is the charm. Oh. Uh... Yeah. So next week it'll be just sewing everything together, probably making the grass and sewing everything together. I might get the grass started today. I don't know. We'll see how far I get. I mean, we're doing pretty well. Mm -hmm. It's it's only like four. Four of ten. Yeah. Four of ten. So we still got an hour and a half. A silver gold star. Perfect. Yes. Hi, Jimbo. You wanna say hi? He's licking his lips like he just ate something, but I don't believe him. Twitching too. Yeah, maybe there's a bug. There he goes. Um, have you talked to them about a potential let's play in crochet? Yes, I have. They want to see it. Do they have a game that they want? Well, I they like. I think we should start off with Zelda because we can. Yeah. So, so pretty easy to. You go. need to catch up to me. So, I think the bulk of it <laughs> might be me knitting <laughs> while you play. <laughs> or or the other way around. Like you're. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil things for you yeah, and them. That's fine. You've kind I'm of already spoiled far. a lot with me, to be fair. But you could do you could do parts that I've already done. But I've already done those parts. You, you didn't do the saying? Korok Wars. You're right. I've not done the... Okay. For All example. Right. Okay, yeah. I think we can make it work. We do a different setup than this one, though, right? Uh, so somewhat. I think it'd be basically like this amount of us would be on the bottom of the screen and then the, the there's a tv over there yeah so that so it'd be like i watched someone that had a really good setup the other day and i thought that would be the perfect way to do it um but yeah basically like the main screen would be the like we would be right here in the corner or right yeah there yeah there. we'd be right there Jimbo Cam would be down there. Main screen of what's happening would be here. And uh -huh. then we'd, if we ever wanted to switch to show our hands, uh -huh. it would just be over this. Got it. So um, it would be more of the let's play than it is the crochet, but obviously it would be a little bit of both. Uh, there's a question in the chat. Have you seen complicated knots? Yes. Yes, I, I did see that. I actually really enjoy their channel. They do um, 
very like as the name suggests very complicated crochet patterns um but they also just do like fun things that they do with crocheting so one of them that this person's talking about is they did one where they played pokemon on a random like it was like a random generator mm -hmm. so you didn't know what kind of pokemon you would run into but the first pokemon that uh she found in the grass she'd have to catch it and then uh she'd crochet it what was it uh i think one of the first ones was gengar and oh. articuno Oh, Articuno would be super hard. Yeah. Gengar's so, pretty straightforward, though. And then she cuts them down pretty short. They're only about, like, 15 minutes, like, 20 minutes of video. So she edits out all of them. Yeah, the but it seems like a lot of, like, that seems like a lot of work to do. For sure. Um, That'd be really fun, though. Yeah, I've actually been wanting to reach out to her to do a collaboration pattern uh, with these seasonal kits. Because I think she'd be a perfect, you know, perfect person to do that you with. You heard it here, folks. Inside scoop. Yeah, inside scoop. I just need to actually reach out and I haven't that's what I want your help with actually he wants to put me to work without paying me <laughs> no I'll pay you I'm kidding I'm kidding but I do want to put you to work <laughs> I'm just joshing I'm just Josh well I just I have a really hard time managing those collaboration patterns by myself so like I f keep forgetting to like uh, like Sir Pearl Gray is working on a pattern for the Under the Sea kit right now, and I've just been really bad about replying to his emails. Same thing with Drew. Drew B. Zoo is gonna work on some collaboration patterns, and I've just been doing a really bad job at like just keeping contact with them and like making sure it's happening. I understand. I think uh, Lou might be a little hard on himself right now, though. Yeah. He has a lot going on. Yeah. So it's understandable. I really want to get um, like one a, a big thing I want to do with collaboration patterns is I really want to get a crocheter in that doesn't do amigurumi, um, preferably a woman that doesn't do amigurumi that makes like clothes, mm -hmm. because I just don't know how to do that and I think um, uh, I don't know I just think it'd be a fun addition to the website. I would offer my services as a designer if I knew how to crochet well enough. I'm actually gonna crochet my first crocheted shirt. It's a, it's like a polo shirt with some buttons in the front, and it's knit or sorry, it's crocheted uh, <laughs> from this direction in, so outward in. You cast on a whole bunch of stitches that end up making the body, the front and the back once you seam them together and that's what creates like the opening in the front. It's a little hard to describe without showing a picture. But it has a cute little collar on it, adorable buttons, it's really loose uh, and I, I picked the same colors that the designer did because I liked them so much. <laughs> Do you want to crochet it while we're just hanging uh, out? I would be staring at my pattern so much that I don't think that that would be super entertaining okay. watching me struggle. No worries. So I think instead I'll go make a coffee and I'll, and I'll be right back. Sure. Yeah, I'll take your spot back. Yep. What? <laughs> I'm back, baby. Yeah, I definitely need to reach out to Complicated Knots. Uh, they are, they seem very, very nice too. Um, they're also Australian, so I don't know. In my history, I get along with Australians very well, so. I think I think we would get along very very well. They are very comfortable. Um, when I first got them, I was like, I don't know if I should get these, but I'm so glad I got them. They're the best. And Jimbo doesn't scratch them, which is really really nice. Yeah, I actually uh, was I commented on a complicated knots pattern recently. Um, they did a. Uh, what do they make? They made a um, a bird. They have like this bird pattern and they actually used the spiked bobble stitch without even knowing it was called the spiked bobble. And they were like, uh, I don't know what this stitch is called. And, and I was like, oh my God, that's the spiked bobble stitch. I use that all the time and here's the tutorial for it. And it's funny cause they used it for a very similar thing. They used it for the beak of a, of a, um, a bird. So I was like, oh, very cool. Yeah, Jimbo. One, two, three, four, and then an increase. 
I should make like a Halloween themed bonsai tree that's like made with black and has no leaves, but more things. That could be kind of fun. Three, okay, so now I need 10 and then an increase. Almost done with the branches though, Jimbo. Isn't that great? He does not care. Welcome back, Samantha. How you doing? Two. There we go. Um, I am going to mark this off in a pattern so I don't lose track of where I'm at. By the way, I think I'm on round 24. So if you are crocheting a your branches, uh, that's where I'm at. Uh, what if, I know we had Rebecca was making a uh, a black horse earlier. We had some other people making some other stuff. Oh, definitely pumpkin leaf. That's a great, great idea. H squared, really good idea. But yeah, anybody else making anybody else working on anything fun? I think I just got, I think I just heard a Discord notification, but I don't have Discord open anywhere. Oh, wait, maybe I do. I might. I need to close some tabs. Yeah, I just leave it. Hmm. I think it's here. I could have sworn I just heard a Discord notification. Ah, there it is. I found it. It's gone. Wahaha. <laughs> Knitting some mittens. Hot <laughs> Twiz, you also heard the Discord? That's funny. Yeah, Jimbo. What? Yeah? Come here. Gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Nice try, Buster. <laughs> what? Oh gosh, you're crazy, dude. You're crazy, dude. Hey, Hannah. How are you doing? Congratulations on the move, Nancy. Moving is hard, so congratulations. Julie made some succulent coasters. Cute. Yeah. What? Yes. Oh. Say it for the people in the back. You don't want to? Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then an increase. What? No, that's not true. Who told you that? Well, Phoebe doesn't know anything about about nuclear fission. Okay, so she wouldn't know. She doesn't know the way. This tastes so good. I take a sip. It tastes so good. Thank you. I love it. Oh damn, that is really good. That's way good. Wow, good job. Yeah, Jimbo is, vocal is one way to say it. 
For sure, for sure. <laughs> He's just a, a bit of a screamer. Can you hear him running around? Oh, I think we're supposed to do a round of single crochets. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, we're on we're on track. I just did thirteen. So now we need twelve and then an increase. So one. This is what I get for not writing or using a stitch marker. How dare. Eight. I'm back. Nine. I have knitting. Ten. Forty. Seven. No. Twenty-two. No. No. Seventy thousand. I do this to her all the time. Your mama. Should I move the camera just slightly more towards you? I think I should. Why? It feels, it feels in my favor right now. So? It's your stream. That's true. I'm crashing. There. Okay. I can also go right here. I can also go in the back camp. Crochet right here. <laughs> yeah, has Jimbo been popping in there at all? Or just no. running around the house just, like a crazy man? Yeah, just sprinting, running, screaming. You know, Jimbo stuff. Standard. He literally is just running around right now. Hi, bud. Oh, oh. you. Was it bad? You was nasty. No, I think he. I. I. Uh, I think Ew, he. No, Jimbo, did you eat your own yeah, booger? Yeah, he did. He did That's eat his own disgusting. booger. That's disgusting. That was gross. <laughs> <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> Sorry. So that is another cute little um perk. Cute little quirk. About Jimbo. Yes, definitely a quirk, not a perk. No. He has cat herpes, and one of the symptoms is sneezing a lot. Yeah. So. He's nasty. He's gross. He's nasty. But we love him. Right, Jimbo? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking off into space. Yeah, with his like ears back. He looks crazy right now. That was so gross. I wonder if they heard the sneeze on the on the stream. You nasty, boy. You nasty. So it's a beautiful day out here in California, but I'm curious if anybody's joining from elsewhere in the States or Canada. Oh, yeah. Hey, shout out, because Jules has no idea where everybody's from. I know there's there, we got a few Aussies in here. We got a few oh, people hi, from Aussie. Canada. I think Tegan's in Alaska, actually. Whoa. Uh, but yeah, shout out. Where are you at? Jimbo's just... Uh, Jimbo... <laughs> Hannah said Jimbo was, uh, she was eating dinner and Jimbo, uh. Oh no, Jimbo, you ruined her dinner. Yeah. Spoiled her appetite in the worst way. Three, four, five, and six. Uh, yes, Cosmo. You remember Cosmo? He was at the, um, Stitches that one time. He, they, they gave me the little frog. Yeah. Yeah, He's in the chat video? right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi, Cosmo. They're in Germany. Wow. Yeah. How long are you in Germany for? Yeah, good question. Are, are you guys, guys just visiting for a while? Yeah. yeah. They were in um, Costa Rica recently, too. Oh, cool. Yeah, they, they do go around a lot. It's crazy. Uh, I on think, something, Lou. Yeah, I think he, ta he takes after me in that. In we that need to sense. watch our, our, our furry boy a little closer. Yeah. You gotta, yeah, he's getting into, oh, hello. There we go. What? He, he got all on, out of focus for a bit. Oh. Yeah, we got blurry. Here. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait, that's your pattern. Don't you need your pattern? Um, yeah, I you do. You can just tell me what the chat's saying. Whoa. I can do that. I am a guest star, not the host. Yeah, but this is good. You know, we get a we get a good uh, idea of how this works because I, I want to do these more often anyhow. True. Do you like how I just called myself a guest star? You are a guest star. 
I'm a gold star, baby. I'm in a weird mood today. I, I like it. I think it's a uh, I'm on vacation almost mood. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And uh, we're quilted today overall. So, yeah, I'm in a good mood. And it's a beautiful day. It is. It is a really, really nice day. Gotta enjoy it while you got it. I know. I kind of, like, I, I know I want to go hang out with Chris and play board games, but I also kind of just want to do nothing with you today. You know? But also, it's nice to have a little time alone to do nothing, I'm sure. Yeah, you get to be alone in the house more often than I do, I think. I travel for work quite a bit. Yeah, that's true. So you get those work trips mm -hmm. to yourself. Yeah, but those are only fun for like two days. And then I'm like, where's Jules? I don't I'm watch bored. the new dishes. Where's Jules? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all because of the dishes. <laughs> 14 and then we need to go up. Look after that. Around us and do crochets. My eyeballs are... What round are you on? I'm on... Actually, here. I'm on ah, round Ah, yeah. Single crochet in each stitch. Around 30. Or, or are you on 29? No, I'm on 30. Oh, okay. And then after that, you're gonna... Single crochet 7. Increase. Single crochet 8. Okay. That's, that's pretty easy. See, I can kind of read crochet patterns, but the thing is, I'm... I can't read any crochet patterns that have an acronym that I don't already know. <laughs> as soon as there's an acronym I don't know, I freak out <laughs> so, and I go to the internet. <laughs> actually, one thing I'm trying to get Jimmy to make for the site, uh, by the way, Jimmy is the guy that helps us make everything on our website. Hi, Jimmy. And Everyone. one of the things I want him to add really bad is the first instance of a stitch that isn't like single crochet or increase, like that is a weird stitch. I want it to be clickable that'll open up a, a video. Yeah. Do you have a glossary, just like a page on the website that has all of you the know, stitches and the definitions? I did make one, but I think it kind of like got lost somewhere in the, so I think I need to rework, we make one of those. I think that's a really good idea and you can link those videos in the glossary too. Yeah. The other thing we really want to work on is uh, we have a, we, we want to make it so that when you're browsing on mobile, um, there is a bar that is following you uh, at the top right there, where it would show like where you're at in the pattern, like you're on round nine of in the body or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then a button that would bring up pictures, and then a button that would bring up the video, and then another oh, one for that. abbreviation. I love that. My, my least favorite thing about both physical and digital patterns is having to scroll or flip through the pages to find what I'm looking for and going back and forth all the time, mm -hmm. which is unfortunately common in knitting yeah. patterns. The more complicated they get. Um, yeah, so having like, ha having it digital I do prefer and then having those options sounds really, really cool. It does, yeah. It, so it sounds like just like a nice way to, it just sounds really, especially like right now, it'd be really useful right now to have a button that I could press on there that would just pull up the pictures mm -hmm. and it would automatically say like okay you're on the branches here are the pictures of the branches but you could you know swipe through all the yeah. pictures. Yeah or you yeah you can swipe through. Yeah I like that a lot because sometimes I'll be knitting something and I'll think wait what am I knitting right now in the yeah. pattern? Where am I actually going? Which direction should I be going right now? Am I on the neckline or the, or the sleeve? It's funny I think that I I mean I guess this isn't, this doesn't sound that strange. Oh, the camera isn't on. Uh-oh. I don't know what happened. Uh-oh. Did you get on close? I don't know. Well, you can still hear us, right, folks? You can hear from the screen. Yeah, they can still hear you. Yeah, I guess it, maybe it was going blurry because it was about to die or something. It became unplugged or something for a sec. Um, might need a minute. Yeah. Hold on. I'm 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 making it work. One sec. Webcam. 
cam, no, EOS, that's what we want. Now is it working? No. Now is it working? No. No, why now? Because of me, and I cursed. Oh. Um, nope. Try it off and on. You're cursed. I'm cursed. It's all my fault. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, little camera. Come on, camera. You, you can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. Oh. It's showing that. But it's not showing that. Why isn't it showing on the screen? Hmm. How, oh how, did I break everything? We literally didn't touch anything. I, yeah, we didn't do anything at all. That's, it isn't that, this has never happened before, I swear. He was bugging me the entire time. Well, they didn't know that, Jules. Well, now they, now they know. Uh, really, everybody knows. It's great that they know. Yeah, everybody's like, this. now it's a podcast for real. Yeah. Uh, I am making today a giant yellow blanket see anymore whoa jules oh my god are you doing a backflip right now <gasps> what are you doing whoa no, i am actually an olympic gymnast yeah now now people are like you now you have to sit in the cat cam yeah you can go sit there no i'll do i i can i've got an idea i got an idea this big camera we can switch to the cat cam like right. that. Can I make the cat cam big? No, we'll just... No. Oh, are you sure you want to do that? Okay. I think, I think the door. I mean, I can't see the positioning of it, though. This is fun. Everybody's whoa, watching and wiggling whoa, whoa. around. Sorry if uh, this is giving you... Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Any motion sickness? It's unintentional. We're gonna, we're gonna try doing this. Good. You can face it toward me a little more. There you go. Yeah. Like that? That's pretty good. And then I'll just fix the cam a little bit. Look at that. What a pivot. <laughs> now that's improv right there. Yeah. There we go. And we're going to turn this cat cam off. And go ahead and add a, one of these. And we'll just go. We'll go ahead and cover up everything. Oopsies. Ah! put this behind this stuff somewhere there that works it's not the best but it works right do you want to try tilting the camera up a little bit yeah yeah nice i did it i pivoted yeah, thank you for your patience, everybody. And also, sorry about that. Big brain time. I'm a basically a genius. <laughs> All right. Where was I in my pattern? I stopped checking things off. That's the problem with the tool. You gotta use the tool for it to be helpful. Yeah. I'm on round 32. I am getting hungry, and it is on my to-do list to eat. He has to write it down, or else he won't do it. I'm very bad at that. Thank you for the little hearts. Aw, the hearts. Oh, thanks. Uh, Ivy, I'm making a blanket. Um, when I get to a good 
part to lift it up and show you, I will, so you can see the pattern. Uh, it's a test knit for a fellow designer, Anna Joanna. She is Norwegian. She's Scandinavian, and uh, she needs t uh, pattern testers not just for her um, her Scandinavian, her, her native language patterns, but her English patterns too. So I test a lot of her English patterns. And she's a, a big inspiration of mine. She is a full-time knitwear designer and mom. She's killing it. Just killing it. She released a book last year that was a big hit. Um, I've made at least half a dozen of her projects just by testing the English patterns. How inspiring. Uh, Scandinavians. I feel like Scandinavians are really good at knitting. I feel like that's a huge... Oh, yeah. Huge part of their... Uh, Comfy, culture? comfy culture. Yeah. There's a term, I think it's Swedish, called hige, um, and it basically means like warm, fuzzy feelings. Cute. And uh, there's there's just like a lot of talk of hige when you're knitting uh, with Scandinavians. <laughs> Is it really just? Wait. So what does hige mean? My under it doesn't have a direct translation. My understanding is it loosely means being comfy, cozy, at home. Like that term we heard in... Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. In uh, Ted Lasso. Gillig? 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 It was uh, the equivalent in, um, in Deutsch um, for Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And what was it? Gillig? I think it was Gillig. Like a yeah. yeah. Um, okay, I'm on my last round. Five. Already? Mm hmm. Awesome. And then I can start working on the pot. Woo! Do you have a terracotta color? Four. Five. Uh, the closest terracotta that we have is the orange that I got for the kit, which is really orange. I love it. It's like this kind of orange, though, mm -hmm. which is pretty terracotta y, actually. Terracotta is a little bit more a little like red. More faded. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and then a half double, and then a half double crochet increase with a mini pico in between. Mini pico. Just peeking on one out. Peeking at your pico. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, ooh, what does that mean, Twiz? Gazellig. Yep. Oh, that's, that's Hige. Oh, that's what Hige I might be saying it wrong. I am not actually Scandinavian. People just yeah, assume. Despite, that dis I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am quite. People definitely assume that very I am, often. I am Austrian on my dad's side and super British American on my mom's side. Yeah, they came over on the Mayflower. Yeah. She's related to Aaron Burr, actually. As well as Charles Dawes, one of our vice presidents, who is named after uh, another Charles Dawes who wrote a Paul Revere. So those are the big ones. It's basically, basically, Jules comes from American royalty. No, not royalty. That would American royalty implies like like George politics, Washington, like JFK, like all the Kennedys are American royalty. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely Kennedys for sure. And probably the uh, Rockefellers are American royalty, too, in their own way. Mm -hmm. Even without the politics part. Of course, Jimbo goes into Jimbo's spot when he's not on camera. Yeah, he, you can't make a cat do anything, yeah. so don't try. <laughs> no. That's my philosophy. One time I'm going to do a stream in Jimbo's spot. You should. Yeah. That almost happened today. It did, yeah. It's, just, it's a good spot to crochet in. It is and it isn't. I think your head kind of tilts forward too much. Yeah. And you're putting a lot of weight on your neck, which is bad. Yeah, that's true. Whenever I play video games in Jimbo's throne, uh, I move it like right to where I'm sitting right now. I watch TV on the screen. I'm looking like right up to the TV and I get so sleepy so fast. I don't know why, but I just get like really, really sleepy when I play video games in that position. I wonder if maybe the blood isn't rushing to the right spot in your head. Yeah, maybe. It is really uh, fun though. I like playing games sleepy sometimes. 
don't know. There's something fun about playing games with the Okay. I don't know. Don't know. Slip stitch one. Okay, I'm at a point where I can show you the blanket, sort of. So it's a giant circle, and I'm using multiple knitting needles to do the circumference of this circle, but they're still not long enough. <laughs> so, so I'm going to show you the center. This, and I just finished this. The center is a flower, and it spreads out to make a big old circular flower. So it's, my color looks like the sun. There's all these like lace petals that fan out from the center out. And then the edge is crazy. The edge has like, like these weird um, fans, almost like a seashell oh, yeah. fan. And then, so I'm almost at the end. Uh, I'm like three rows away from the border. The border's gonna have little tassels all around. So it's I, really gonna look like a Oh wow, you're almost done then. Are you gonna- Yes, but I still have multiple hours to go because, because this is over at this point, 900 so stitches yeah. on the and are you, uh, um, the border's gonna take forever. Are you gonna try blocking that? Oh yeah. That's gonna be... I have 18 blocking mats now, so... I honestly don't think that's enough blocking mats. I have 18 blocking mats. No, I'll, I'll put it in the sunroom, probably. Oh yeah, just... Bunch of towels on the rug and then... Yeah, and just move the table out, or yeah. like stand up the table or something maybe? Just put the table on top yeah. of it. Look at how much more extra brown yarn we have like that's wow. it doesn't look like that much but it is. this is a it, it's a lot yeah that's like more than half of the brown yarn we still have left over we still have way more than half of the blue luckily we're gonna need you guys don't know what the pattern is yet but we will need brown blue green and yellow for the final pattern oh and beige for the final pattern in the season so you'll need all five colors Wait. Not you won't you can choose your green. You can either yeah. choose the dark green or the, Got it. or the or the light green. But we have extra of both. Honestly, like this is what I really wanted to do with the seasonal kit, so I'm glad it's working out. That each one of them has like like you don't use all the yarn mm -hmm. that you need to make all the kit. So all it's kind of like all the patterns. So it's kind of like a like seasonal yarn dump. Like yarn, <laughs> you know, you know, like yarn. You use a better word. Like a refill, dump. like it, like you're consistently filling up your your inventory of cotton yarn. Is kind of the idea. Plus, it's plus it's all the eyes and stuff, so it's like, well, like a material, like a material. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, like a refill. Refill. I yeah. I think of it as you can make these multiple times within the kit. Yeah. You're not getting just enough to make what's promised. Yeah. You're getting more than enough. So you can try it again, you can change colors, you can personalize it, you can supersize it. Look how yeah. perfect that little cake is. I want to eat it. Don't eat it. It's not edible. No. Stop it. Stop. Stop tastes it. like yarn. What does yarn taste like? Like... Fiber? Fiber. <laughs> yeah, I need to eat a lot of fiber. This is good for me. He does. Yeah, definitely. Okay, the first six, seven rounds of this are very easy. Okay, I can chill for seven rounds. I just gotta get to the right size. Oh, I'm not even on camera. Your foot is on screen more than your face. There, I'll turn this way. There you go. I'll stare at Jimbo. He's being all sleepy. He I wish they could sleepy. see him. He's, He's so really cute. cute right now. <laughs> He's really cute. I pick him up, but I don't want to squirrel with him. Yeah. He's shedding a lot these days. He is. I've been brushing him. We got a high score the other day. Oh, yeah? Yeah. We got 1.8 grams. Gross. Do you realize how many... Uh, my yeah. record before that was just 0.85 grams. Oh, so I that's... thought you hit over one already. Maybe I have. I it but it's still, it was like almost double the yeah. high score from before. I'm finding a lot of um, Jimbo fur tumbleweeds. Yeah, I call them Jimbo spores. They, they tumble across the hardwood floor when you open a door. <laughs> yeah, it's really gross. It's really gross. But it's also kind of cute, maybe? No, it's just gross. <laughs> so have you given folks any sort of hint as to what the next season's gonna be? Yeah, they know. They know oh, they what they know. the next season's gonna be. I showed, um, they know it's under the sea themed. Uh, I've shown a few of the whales. There's, there are 
going to be, I think there's, I think I'm going to make six. I was going to just do five whale or like whale-ish patterns. Whale varieties. The whale varieties. But then I realized I want a shark. I know. I don't like but it'll make it cute. Will it? Yeah, because it look, if I used basically so here's another here's a uh, another sneak peek. Here's a beluga. That's for the kit. You kinda see how its head is like got like a bit of a point to it? A bulge. Yeah, a bulge. And I thought if I can do that with the shark but make the point like more of a point like that, then it'll look like their mm -hmm. nose. Or you could do a hammerhead. Or I could do a hammerhead. Yeah, that would make it very obvious. And different from the dolphin. Mm-hmm. I could do both. I need to rework the dolphin anyhow. I don't like the yeah. nose for the dolphin. The nose needs fixing. Just a little bit. Nose needs fixing. Here, for reference. Here's a nose job. Here's what the dolphin... Here's my first draft of the dolphin. But I'm going to rework it. You can kind of see how the nose... You see what I was going for. I just used a bobble stitch for the nose, but he kind of just looks like a blobfish. I was just going to say that. Like a big old blobfish. Yeah, so I really need to rework that. <laughs> um, yes, and and last sneak peek, just because I'm on a roll and there's only 30 people watching, so it's not that bad. I don't know. Uh, it, a narwhal is is one of the other ones. Isn't that cute? Very, very. Can cute. I make a nar or can I request you make a narwhal with a rainbow horn? That'd be amazing. Mm -hmm. Definitely, we'll probably do that on a live stream realistically. Great. Because the li these things take no time to make, so I think on the stream that we're going to do for them, I'll just crochet them all. We'll just have a bunch of them. I really want to put magnets in the front of their faces so I can play like a little fishing game with them. I thought that would be really cute. You know what's funny? I never thought about like front of their faces like they're eating the hook on the uh -huh. fishing. But I, just didn't, I just assumed that you would put the magnet on the top. That makes me way more sense to yeah. have a magnet near the mouth. I just thought, like, oh my god, what a fun way to make another game. Oh, and another tiny sneak peek, but I won't tell you anything else about it. About the other game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I um, have another new game that I am almost ready to put out for playtesting. This so, is the third one. Yeah. Third game, none technically fully released. <laughs> So, yeah, look look forward to that in season two. Also, a new playtest of a new game. Yeah. Pretty cool, and it, uh, it's pretty good. I know it doesn't good. sound that exciting right now because he doesn't have like examples to show you, but you are yeah. gonna love this. Yeah, I, I think it's a, I think as far as the crochet goes for it, it's it's going to be very popular. It's adorable. It's very, it is the cutest game that I've made so far. And. If you don't know, he made a game about dinosaurs running away from lava, and that is the cutest game. Yeah, that game is really cute. This but, beats it. Yeah, it I, as far as cuteness goes, this one does beat it. I would say it still needs work. The game itself is fun, definitely fun, but there's just like bumps. Yeah, we just we need to do some tweaking. Yeah, it but, needs some smoothing out. But the crochet part is solid. Yeah, I agree. I think the crochet part is solid. And I think that the game part is like almost there. It, it's like nine tenths of the way there. He had his friend, our landlord, Andy, come play it. And Andy really liked it. Yeah, and Andy doesn't like games very often, so. And he, what did he say? He was like, I can't believe you did it again. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, I can't believe, yeah. Before he left, he was just like, Lou, I just got to say, I you did it again. I can't believe it. You Not only did you just come up with another game with your crochet that's super cute, but it's like fully fledged out and it works. Like everything works about it. It's not broken. It's not broken, but like we, we first, can definitely make it better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, ah, that's, it, it was a very big, it was a really good compliment to hear from your best friend too. To let like, he really liked it. Especially from someone that doesn't really like games that often. Which is funny because I never would guess that. Yeah. I can imagine this game being really good with kids because yes. it's just like, it's kind of just like you going through the motion of the rules. The, the, but the thing is, well, we will talk more about it when it's ready. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Let's let's save some 
some surprises for future. But just know that later this summer, it's gonna be great. There's gonna be some cute patterns coming. Yeah, I mean, top tier, like, yeah, really, really cute patterns. I'm very, I, I'm, I really want to show you right now, but I don't. I, I want to work on them a little bit more. I want them to, what's it called? Incubate. They are his babies. They and they really are. They are. I will be right back. Okay. Twiz Twiz says that they wish they had board game friends. Twiz, I would be your board game friend. I really want to work on like so well, hold on. First off, did anybody see that the new Apple like glasses thing? Anybody in the chat see that stuff? It looks pretty cool. A little bit like, it's a little bit like, like too futuristic-y for me. A little bit, like it's kind of scary futuristic-y, but I can't help thinking how cool it would be to play board games in VR with like your friends super far away. Or I'm sorry, not VR, AR. So it's like you actually can see your table, but like the board game populates and then your friend is also playing the board. That would be dope as f butts. <laughs> Almost got a little too excited there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ooh, that would be fun, a maze tree. Like a card that's a log that catches, that can catch on fire and then disappear. It's like a, it's like a, a barrier in the road, but like that you can burn away with lava. So you kind of want to add lava towards it. That, that's a very interesting idea. Two, three, four, five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna noodle with that idea, dude. That's a, not a bad one. Dope as butts, Louis2023. 20, is that your campaign slogan? Yeah. Dope as what? L dope as butts. Oh, we're allowed to say that word? Vote for me for president in 2023. Not 2024, I'm not running it that year. No. But 2020. Why would he run that year? There's too much competition. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so vote for me for president in 2023. President of what? Yep. Exactly. I think the chat should decide what you should be president of. Butts. It is butts? Oh. That's too much power. That's a lot of power, because everybody got that. Everybody's got one. And I could just like turn them all off for the day. <laughs> oh no! If people aren't behaving End well. End of the world. My dictator's showing. Well, this is why you have... Uh, Close those butts. The, the multiple branches <laughs> to cover. Yeah, the multiple branches. There's the cheeks. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I got Twiz's vote. Okay. And in 2023, you know, there's not that many people are going to be voting because they won't even know that there's an election. Yeah, happening. who's running against you? No one even knows that there's a, an election, so I'm running unopposed right now. Wait, if nobody knows there's an election, who's going to vote for you? That's just it. As long as I get some, I'll still get the majority and it'll be fine. So I actually don't want it to get out. Don't tell anybody that there's an election in 2023, but you should know and vote. I still don't understand why voting is an optional thing in this country. It feels like it should be mandatory. Yeah, it should be. It should, you should have to opt out. Yeah. Not opt Not in. opt in. Same as um, uh, donating your organs. Mm. I think you should have to opt out of donating your organs, not opt now, into it. Now we're getting into like religious territory. And we, we're not religious, so we don't have an understanding of, of those feelings and practices. I believe in yarn. You believe in yarn. I believe in song. That's what I believe in. Song. I also feel like theater should be a mandatory class for everybody. And here's why. It teaches empathy. It teaches you how to put yourself in somebody else's shoes and situation. Mm -hmm. It makes you a more empathic person. Empathetic person. 
Yeah, I could see that. I also think that it makes you way better and more comfortable at being in front of people, which yeah, is I think a really, really yeah, important. That's okay. Yeah, that's that's for a specific practical skill. My thing is for being a better human. Oh, okay, gotcha. So. I, when I was in high school, or I mean elementary school, I took Toastmasters, uh, which taught me how to speak in front of people really well. So can you explain what that is for folks? Because Toastmasters? I didn't know what this was until I met you. So. Okay, so Toastmasters is a, like, it's a class. Now, for for my elementary school, it was actually one of our, um, like, you know, you'd do math, you'd do science, and then you'd do Toastmasters as, like, one of your curriculum, basically. And it was basically just like you'd come up with a like you'd get a topic or or a something that you'd have to write a speech for, and then you'd do a speech in front of the class, and you'd debate with people in front of the class. So it's speech and debate. It's speech and debate, but like, yeah, it's speech and debate. Yeah. But it, I think I think it's more about like the reason it's called Toastmasters is because like you're doing a toast. Mm -hmm. So it was about like getting good at like doing a toast at a wedding or something like that, you know? Yeah. Le less about debate, more about a speech. More about being comfortable in front of people. Yeah. Okay. That is absolutely vital. Yeah, it, it was a really, I remember my mom going like, I love this teacher so much because she's doing that, like she's training you guys for actual important things. I thought that was pretty cool. His mom's a teacher too, so that is a yeah, sure. definitely. Dolphin not Dolphin not Dolphin not I'm trying to catch up to what Amazefeet's talking about. I should, you should see it, please. <gasps> oh no, Cosmo's running against me for president in 2023. <gasps> Cosmo. I don't think I actually don't think you're legally allowed to. You're not in the country. You're not in the country. Ooh. Ooh. You can run for president of wait, what were we what was it president of again? Butts? Butts. You can run for presidents of butts in Germany. Good luck. Yeah. I think that actually I think in Germany they're called the the Chancellor of Cheeks. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the Chancellor of Cheeks in Germany. Except for, <laughs> except for like a, a slow clap because it was a no. good joke? Or? No, I did the closed eyes face. That's what I did. That was a good joke. Uh -huh. So, whatever. Just smile and nod, everybody. <laughs> now I have to look at my phone. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I'm so close. Let's see. Twiz said when they were in college, they got to do staged combat uh, theater class. So, and it was really cool. Yeah, staged combat is awesome. We have a friend who teaches that. Yeah, they actually gave me... You know what? I'll show it on stream. So I show the cool thing that they gave you know? That he, the he gave us, yeah. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, and then increase. One, two, three, four. Let me finish this round, and then I'll show you... This super cool thing that we have hidden behind that fireplace. So this friend is my friend first. Uh, my friend first. He went to uh, SF State with me. We both majored in theater, and it became pretty apparent that all he wanted to do was <laughs> choreograph fights on yeah. stage. So he does that for a living now. Yeah, and uh, he is obsessed with swords. He has so many of them. He has a lot of swords in his closet. He has swords like, like we have yarn. Yeah, he yeah he collects swords like he collects yarn. Yeah, but it's not equivalent to one ball of yarn, one sword. It's no, like a hundred balls of yarn, one sword. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But still, he's got like fifty swords. <laughs> <laughs> he's got he's got at least twenty five swords. He's got yeah, I'd, I'd say thirty. Yeah. But he lent us one. I'm gonna be very careful. Yes, we are. It's 
a shield. A very particular type of shield. Yeah, check it out. He had an extra high rule shield and a sword. <laughs> so we just have it. We just have a sword and shield in our house. So now we can cosplay as Link. And check this out. It's like a... Ooh, I just grabbed it by the don't blade. Don't the blade. <laughs> That's the biggest no-no. <laughs> stabbing you in the face. Show them the hilt. It's a legit sword, dude. <laughs> it has like a dragon face on the hilt. Yeah. Yeah, here, wait. It's not super sharp, though. Because it's a stage... No, but I could, I could hurt someone with this for sure. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty dope. It's wild. Here, let's, oh God. <laughs> let's put these aside for now. Put them away later. He'll be proud of us for showing it See, on the live stream. Why, this is why you make friends with different hobbies than you because they give you stuff that you otherwise never would have. Yeah. <laughs> Not that we need it, but we do have it. We joked about putting the shield like above our bed, but it's so heavy and scary. <laughs> So I said, but does he have the master sword? He did, but he didn't want to lend us the master sword, I think. Oh yeah, he has it. He yeah. Has it. yeah, yeah. I think he he wanted to keep the master sword. I think as he though. had two Zelda shields. Yeah, I think so too. Two Link shields, and he gave us the the one that he didn't need. Yeah. It was very funny though. I, I we were just over there, and I was like, I was like, whoa, this is dope. Can I have it? Like as just like a joke, and he's like, yeah, you know what? Sure. Okay, and I was like, hey Jules, we're going home with a sword. And she's like, what? No, we're not. <laughs> yes, we are. I actually grew up in a house full of swords. My dad is a big history guy, and he started collecting Civil War swords when he found one in my parents, or my grandparents' trash can. It's crazy. Someone was clearing out my grandparents' attic and threw away two swords. Two, like vintage to not vintage historical artifacts yeah. <laughs> from the civil war that is very funny who would do that a, a family member who did not know what was happening <laughs> was do not... you know which family member it was? no I, I don't i wasn't there i'm gonna guess it was like i don't know aunt diana maybe i i have a theory it was my grandma just mm. trying to get rid of them yeah probably so it's kind of weird my grandparents are quakers and Quakers are very pacifist, no no violence, no weapons, please. But they are both descended from historical figures in American history, and so we there's some weapons involved in that. Uh, so yeah, I think it was my grandma's way of trying to like secretly, but not so well, uh, get rid of some of the weaponry. In the yeah. House. There, I I tried to fix the mic a little bit, so maybe it'll get you. Cause I think you're pretty quiet, but that's okay. I'm trying to project. I hope it's coming through. What? I don't want to lose my voice though. Um, either. Amaze Feed, I did see your uh, spiky little cactus on. Uh, I think you put it on Instagram. I did I see, see it. Uh, here, I'll pull it up. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll pull it up. My phone is being used as a camera. Never mind. No, but I can I'll pull it up. I can pull it up. Uh, uh, I can see it later. It's okay. I've already distracted this live stream so much. It's if fine though. We are off the rails. We're still, we've got 45 more minutes and I, all I need, my goal today was to get to the grass and I think we'll get there. Like I'm already on the feet of the pot, so. Pot's, all good. Pot's got feet. Hot pot feet. Hot pot feet. You ever had hot pot before? Hot pot's amazing, we love it. Hot pot's so We good. should go get hot pot sometime. We should. We did on New Year's. Down we got here? shabu shabu, which I guess is pretty oh, much hot pot. Oh yeah, you're right. We did get shabu shabu. It's kind of the same thing though. No, it's not. It's different. It's shabu cool. shabu traditionally, the the um, the broth that you use to cook all your meats and vegetables in for the whole meal, then gets turned into a porridge mm -hmm. by adding rice to it. That's a traditional way. I know, I'm super hungry too. What do you want for dinner? I don't know. Also, I don't know when I'm supposed to leave. Oh, yeah, when are you going to meet up with me? I don't know, I texted him right before the live stream, but my phone is on Do Not Disturb, so I have no idea if he's texting me back or not. Oops. I, I told him I'll be busy till 6, so he knows. Okay. Maybe I should go make food soon so it's ready by the time we're done. But I'm enjoying you on the stream. I know. I said soon, not right away. That's 
Slime and China. We have lots of things too. We do. I went grocery shopping and I kind of went a little crazy. I got a lot of stuff. He he just you know was shopping with his tummy, not his brain. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to head out probably like really quick after six, so maybe you're right. Yeah. Okay. Because so he what he I do? wants me to be there around seven seven thirty. Okay. That's about forty five minutes away. Uh -huh. What do you want me to do? Um, I don't know. Hey, chat, what should we eat? I have a hard time deciding things like that. Maybe I should just decide for you. Maybe we do pasta? Oh, you know, we have those... Nah. Oh, well, we have those those meatballs that you Natasha meatballs? gave us. We, and we have... I think we have meatless meatballs, too. Oh, cool. Do you want meatballs? Pasta and meatballs sounds great. Great. We'll do pasta and meatballs. We don't need to get that started till like... 15 minutes before six, maybe? Be pretty quick to make. But the meatballs are frozen. Let's do 20. Okay. 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 Ooh, okay. Twiz just did just say tacos, though. We had oh, wait, we had tacos. burritos the other night. Oh my god, they were so good. I killed it. Yeah, she really did. They were 10 out of 10. The shrimp was perfectly cooked. I know the rules. There are rules. There are rules. There are rules. Rule number one. Uh, no water after midnight. Rule number two. No saying no after midnight. Yep. Yep. But you still gotta have... Rule number one takes precedence, though. Yeah, but that's why it's number one. Yeah. Rule number three... Uh, uh, always enter rooms backwards if always. you're, if you're going to cook shrimp. Always. It's very important. Yeah. And then rule number four, uh, don't do rules number one through three. Yeah. That's probably the most important rule. Cause if you don't, if you don't follow that one, then like. It's yeah. really obvious that you didn't exactly. read all the rules. Exactly. That's really the point of that rule. You're is just like, gonna embarrass yourself. Yeah. So. Yep. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we should play an improv game since that felt like an improv game. Sure. Do you want to play an improv? Game? I would love to play an improv game. I don't know how to play improv games, but you will teach me. I will teach you. So I'll teach you a really simple one. Okay. Uh, this is an improv exercise. Improv exercise. That I learned in my first improv class last Sunday. I'm going to say a sentence. Okay. It's going to establish something. For example, I might say, uh, Mom, thank you for inviting me to dinner tonight. That established a lot of things. I'm talking to my mom. We're at dinner. Blah, blah, blah. Then Louie's going to respond with yes. And he's going to repeat what I said in a way that makes sense. Yes, I invited you to dinner tonight. And... Then he'll add something. Okay. Whatever he adds, I will say yes to. I will repeat it. And I will then say and, and I will add something else. And what do we... Go we... back and forth. And we're creating the scene together. Do... Through an agreement. And we just find a good stopping point. Yep. Like just something natural. Mm-hmm. And the rule is it's yes and. We don't say no to each other. We don't say but to each other. And questions are hard, so try to avoid questions. Okay. Do you want to give it a go? Sure. Do you want me to start or do you want yes. to start? Yes. Okay. So I'm throwing it at you. And you know what to do? I think so. You're going to say yes, you're going to repeat after me, say and, and then say something new. Okay. Okay. I love it when we go to movies together, Dad. Say yes. Yes. I love it when we go to movies as well. And I really hope you enjoy this scary movie. Yes, you hope I will enjoy the scary movie. And I gotta tell you, this one's really good. Yes, this one is really good. And it seems we both have seen the same movie already. Yes, it seems we have both seen the same movie already. And I can't wait to watch it again with you. 
yes, I can't wait to watch it again with you. And I snuck in a bunch of Twizzlers. Yes, you snuck in a bunch of Twizzlers, and I snuck in a bunch of Reese's Pieces. Yes, you snuck in a bunch of Reese's Pieces, and I'm gonna place, I'm gonna tie my Twizzlers around the Reese's Pieces to make Tweezes Rizzles. Yes, you're gonna make Tweezes Rizzles, and I'm not gonna tell Mom. Yes, you won't tell mom, uh, because if she finds out, we're gonna be toast. Yes, if she finds out, we're gonna be toast, and dad, I think the movie's starting. And that's the scene. That's the whole thing. Did Very I well? easy, right? I feel, I feel like I did alright. Yeah, you did great. Made, made up a whole new candy and everything. You did. Tweezes Rizzles? Tweez, uh, yeah, tweez, I don't even remember. Tweezes Rizzles. So yeah, that was just an exercise. We weren't trying to be funny. We were just trying to like, <laughs> we we're just trying to agree with each other. That's that's the whole point. Again. You want to do it again? It was fun. Okay, how about you start? All right. I can't believe me and my best friend are going to the water park for the first time together. Yes, you can't believe you and your best friend are going to the water park together, and I'm really hopeful that you're gonna invite me. Yeah, I know you're hopeful you're gonna I'm gonna invite you. And uh, I sent you an invite in the mail a few weeks ago. <gasps> yes, you sent me an invite in the mail a few weeks ago, and I ate it. Yes, you ate it. Uh, and it was on edible paper. Yes. So you did it right. Yes, it was on edible paper, and I did it right. And now we're both going to the water park because I'm your best friend. And you're my best friend. Uh. And. And <laughs> you're. Uh. Yes, you're my best friend. And. Uh. Did. Uh, not a question. Yeah. Try and. To uh, and the invite said something about a plus one? Yes, the invite said something about a plus one. And so I invited my grandma to the water park. Yes, you invited your grandma to the water park. And she didn't bring a bathing suit. Oh, yeah, <laughs> she didn't bring a bathing suit. And my grandma is a nudist. <laughs> yes, your grandma is a nudist. And she looks great. Yes, she looks great. And <laughs> I don't know where she went. Yes, you don't know where she went. And I found her making out with a lifeguard. <gasps> yes, Grandma's making out with a lifeguard. And I'm jealous. That's a good ending. <laughs> I like that one. That one was fun. It, it's so much more fun in improv when... Someone is not saying but or no or creating roadblocks. It, it just leaves a lot of room for play. Yeah. So thank you for uh, watching us try some improv exercises. That was fun. I hope you guys actually like that. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> I'm going to learn a bunch more this Sunday. Twist thought we were funny. Aw, uh, yay, we're funny. So we have one, we have one the thing comedy is, fan over. Lou and I, like, even though we've never had improv training together before, um, we improvise all the time with yeah. each other at home. Like, just, like, the silliest scenes that make no sense. I'm often breaking improv rules by saying, uh, no. <laughs> because he comes up with I do. Some I do go thing. a little crazy, yeah. <laughs> that is, that is true. I like to take the characters really in wild directions. Really wild. Really, really wild. Especially with, like, little demons and stuff. One time, uh, I did a really great joke that I thought was really funny where this was recently and it's always funnier when you tell it after the fact too I would go I went like this I went we were both really sleepy and about to go to bed and I went boo that scared you? she went no no and so I waited a second and I went boo that scared you? she went no and then I went <laughs> 
It scared me so bad. She screamed and like jumped and ran away. It was so funny. <laughs> and then later I went, boo, did I scare you? And she said, a little. <laughs> So, I like to torture my fiancé. Yes, he does. We call it play. <laughs> it's not play. It's just torture. <laughs> but he has to put up with me singing stuff out of nowhere, like a musical theater person does. Mm -hmm. Where I mean, I've done it on this live stream at least three times. I've caught myself just singing stuff at you. Because I, I feel so passionate about what I'm saying, I have to sing it. You know, I do like to do that, too. So, I get it. I feel you. He does like to do it, too. We make up songs a lot. Yeah, a lot. Oh, well, we came up with a good one last night. Yeah, we did. I can't remember it what it was. It was super something. Like super, super, super. Oh, it was, oh man, it was like dancey. It was yeah. cute. Oh, well. And I remember going like, that was actually a really good one. <laughs> it was a good one. We even harmonized. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the whole thing. Who knows, maybe one day... You will see it on the live stream. Perhaps. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Look how big the pot for my tree is getting. Whoa. Big old pot. I think I'll be able to make finish it by the end. I'm already on round. I just finished round 10. So I have, I only have six more rounds left. Nice. And what time is it? Uh, it is 530. So I'll finish up this pot and then uh, I think that'll be it for the stream today and then we'll come back next week. I'll make the grass uh, and then we'll start sewing everything together. The sewing together part does take a while. So it'll be, yeah, I think that that's nice to save for another stream. Anyhow. Anywho. 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 <laughs> I feel like I goofed up somewhere though. Uh oh. Trouble, Lou. I, th I think I know exactly where I goofed up. Is it far back? No, it's just I started the increasing early, which means I finished it early. Oh, so you're not as far as you thought you were. No, I, I can just pivot. It's it's totally fine. It okay. doesn't change it doesn't change the pattern. It just makes the increases at a different spot, but it really doesn't matter at all. So I'm gonna keep them where they be. I think he's lying. I'm not lying. I just think he doesn't wanna go back and do it again. That is a little bit true. <laughs> I, I would have done the same thing. Wait, did I though? Yes, I did. It's actually really, well not easy, but easier to fix knitting mistakes after you've passed them than it is to fix crochet mistakes after you pass them. Yeah, way, you can't. Way easier. Yeah, for the most part, you can't even do anything about yeah, it. Yeah, you have to unravel your crochet. But for knitting, you can just like drop some stitches. Yeah. Fix the row below, pick those stitches back up. You didn't have to unravel anything. Yeah, basically what I did was, for this round, I was supposed to do 15 single crochets and then an increase, repeated three times around. But I did nine single crochets and then an increase and then did the 15 and an increase. So I ended... Like, oh. I still increase three times, and they're evenly placed. They're just not where technically they're supposed to be, but it doesn't matter at all. Got it. It's all about just increasing up to 51 stitches regardless, so it doesn't really evenly matter. Evenly, too. Yeah. And you did it evenly. Yeah. So, yeah. You're right. It doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. Ugh, I hate saying he's right. I know. Because being right is my job. Someone <laughs> said we're not camera shut. <laughs> right. Someone said we're not camera shy anymore. Were we camera shy before? Or are, oh, or are we a little? I, I think I am a little bit sometimes. Depends oh, I, on what I'm doing. I am. If, if I don't feel great, like if I think my hair is weird looking or yeah. I got a zit or like, if I'm feeling self-conscious, the last thing I want is a camera on my face. Yeah. Um, I Just today I was on a Zoom call and I have always had the zoom setting on where it mirrors for me so I look like I'm looking in a mirror because if I don't have that turned on I see what everybody else sees and it's backwards yeah, to it what I'm wrong. used to and I can't stop staring at myself because I look lopsided to myself so uh, yeah I hate that I hate seeing myself inverted I would yeah that I, I agree with that for myself I 
I don't like listening to my voice, but at this point I've edited it so much that it's just like, whatever. Yeah, I don't think anyone really likes listening to their voice. Yeah. Unless they're a narcissist. Sorry. Yeah. Um, but I did, uh... Don't like it. Oh, but I think I have gotten over most of the camera shyness. Unless it's something that I'm like, not comfortable with doing. Like... Mm. Like, I wouldn't want to do improv in front of a camera, because I don't know how to do that. But, like, crocheting in front of a camera? Yeah. Wait, we just did improv in front of a camera. Yeah, but I mean, like, on a stage? I guess you're right. I don't know. I don't know what I mean. Oh, that's right. We have a giveaway going on right now. Hey, if you haven't entered oh. the giveaway, go enter it. It's for a Jimbo pin. They're so cute. They're so cute. They're the cutest little pins. And all you need to do is fill out a form, and then on that form, there's questions like, uh, how's, the how's your day going? This is the Jimbo and sticker that looks like the pin. Yes, that's actually not in the shop yet, so I need to get that in the shop really bad. It's not my water bottle. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, there's questions like, what's your favorite movie? And do you have any good suggestions for podcasts? They're, they are very not much important questions for anybody but me because I just want to know and I'm looking for new podcasts. Um, so go ahead and enter by going to that form. There's a link in the description and uh, we will announce a winner. You know what? I might announce... Yeah, we'll announce a winner at the end of the live stream. I might do another giveaway though throughout between this and the next live stream on just the like YouTube community channel. But, you know, I don't know. You gotta be subscribed for that, so make sure to subscribe. There you go. There you go. Oh, look at Jimbo. I know, he's so cute. I keep trying to avoid looking at him because I'll just only look at him. Yeah, cats have that way. Yeah, they, they do. They can be literally doing nothing and you can't help but watch them like they're the TV. Oh my God, he's twitching because he's dreaming. Um, Jules is making a blanket right now. I am a big old circular blanket. Big old. It's big. It will be big. What, are you going to put that on your couch downstairs? I think so. I don't want the cats to mess it up too much. Yeah, okay. They don't mess with blankets too often. That but green yeah. one I made is messed up. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily because of the cats. I think it's more the yarn. I think it's just more the yarn and we just use it all the time. The nice thing is this yarn is machine washable. That is really nice, actually. What, is that other yarn not? I don't think so. Yeah, it's a little frizzy, huh? It's probably like, it'll probably be like, um, felt if we're not careful. Twiz, you just finished the second branch. Blue crochets very fast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there was this one guy in here, uh, AJ, who the other week we did a, uh, he started his I think it was the sea turtle or the tortoise. You remind me if you're in the chat and you remember. But he started it uh, at the same time as I did in the start of the stream, and he finished it like an hour before me. It was crazy. Well, you were probably distracted. I was definitely distracted, but we agreed that we it was a challenge. So it was like... You lost. Yeah, and I was like, I'm gonna win, I'm gonna win. And I lost pretty bad. And so I sent him a, like, I told him if he wins the challenge, I'll send him a little care package. I sent him like, every pin that I had. <laughs> or no, I sent him like two pins, I think, and, a, and like every sticker. Oh, okay. Yeah. That reminds me of when Louis did Project for Awesome. He had a really late night slot. I think it was like midnight to one. I think it was one to two, maybe even. It might have it been. It was nice. really, really late. It was really late, and he was gonna try to crochet um, throughout the whole thing, and then anytime anybody donated, yeah. he would put a finished crochet piece out on the screen, like he does with you guys. And so many people were donating so frantically that he you didn't even get halfway done no I with the yeah. triceratops yeah and then i donated the triceratops on the stream and it made like 500 bucks he raised the single most money yeah in at the that time point slot. Yeah. in that in that one hour because one guy donated was it like sixty thousand yeah. dollars or something no sixteen sixteen thousand dollars yeah someone donated sixteen grand during my his just like happened to be during i don't think it was because of me <laughs> but it was like way you dope. inspired him <laughs> yeah the, the 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 person that was like my contact with uh project for awesome afterwards was like 
was it was her first time running one and she was like you just you just killed it like it was it was really cool it was like a really cool she, just like she was very happy that he did so well because yeah. it looked good on her <laughs> yeah i think so but also it was just like a like they didn't know who I was, you know, like yeah. I reached out to them because I wanted to donate things for Project for Awesome in general. And then, and then I was like, if you need someone to fill a slot, like I'm a late bloomer, like I, I'm cool with that. Late bloomer, wrong word. Yeah, you know. yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it was very cool. Uh, are you gonna do it again next year? I think yeah, if they invite me. Yeah, I'm, I think they'll invite me. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Well, I think I should go make dinner now. Okay. I'm at a good stopping point in my meeting. Cool, cool, we got only only 20 or so minutes left to the stream. Okay. Um, I'll oh gotcha. announce a winner once I finish this pot, which is only in a few more rounds. Let's see, I'm on round. Can you look at Jimbo in front of you? Yeah, he's literally- he's, Full bunny legs. Yeah, it's really, 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 really cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, off to dinner. Bye everybody. Thanks for letting me hang out. This was really nice. You we'll should do, do this more again. often. Yeah, we will do, totally do it again. I think the next one should be our Let's Play and Crochet. Okay. Okay, we'll make it happen. We'll do it, well, maybe we'll do it on Friday. This so that Friday? way. Oh, on a different on, day. Yeah, yeah, on a different day. And we'll do it, maybe we'll do it on the Lose Loops one. Yeah, we can't do it uh, Thursday during a work day, really. Yeah. This is an exception. Well, you can. Yes. Yeah. Okay, bye. This is my work day. Bye. Bye. Your yarn. Oh, no. Could you help me with the can Never mind, I'll, I'll handle it. Sure. Well, yeah, actually, could you put that down and help me just move the camera over a little bit so there's not just like big empty yeah, yeah, yeah. spot? Okay. So, should I do this? Yeah. No, all you need to do is just turn it mm -hmm. this way. Keep going. That's good. Eh, a little less. Yeah, there's, there's great. Okay. Thank you. Um, and then actually I can zoom in, I think. There we go. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right, Amaze Feet. I, I almost forgot that you beat me with those tortoises too. Okay, so that's the pot. We need to just, uh, working the back loops only, slip stitch in each stitch. Okay, cool. Oh yes, I remember now what I'm doing. So I'm making like basically where the bonsai like connects to. It's actually a pretty easy round. That was fun having a little guest jewels here the whole time. beige yarn but we'll make it we only got a couple more rounds here so we'll have still a lot left over that we can use on another cactus or our succulent that we'll be making next week oh yeah by the way next or not next week two weeks from now but next week same time same place we're gonna be finishing up this bonsai tree um, I'll try to set up the cameras a little bit better next time and be a little bit more prepared uh, but We'll be finishing up the bonsai tree next week, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there's your heads up there. Make sure to subscribe and all that fun jazz. And maybe we'll do another giveaway. Um, my goal is like if this video gets 200 likes, we'll do another giveaway. I don't think it will, but that's okay. Um, and 
if that's not the case, the next live stream we'll do, if it gets 150 likes, we'll do a giveaway next live stream. Right, Jimbo? Yeah, you're awake. Good morning. So that's our round of slip stitches. Next round. Oh, see you later, Maze Fee. Thanks for joining. See you next week. <laughs> Bert. Bert just woke up and wants to know. Where, where do you live, Bert, where you just woke up? We need front lips only. 15 and then remove 15. Okay. One, two, three. I'm gonna guess like Australia, two. I don't know where it's just becoming morning. Three, four. Six. No way, dude. F oh no, okay, that's a different person. Or is it the same person? It is the same person. Dude, you're in Mongolia? That's not true. Are you really in Mongolia? That's crazy. I think you're the first person to ever say that they're from, they're in Mongolia, if that's true. In the stream, I mean. You're the first person to ever be in Mongolia, no. <laughs> Wow, that's wild. If you're really in Mongolia, that's really crazy. Your country is beautiful. And also, like, the one country that no one ever thinks about. You're, like, keeping the peace. because the Jimbo is just like he's moved out of his bed and now he's just laying on the floor just so furry he looks like a cloud descending on a town on a forest of of grass forest of grass maybe you're alone in this country yeah there's not a lot of people there in Mongolia <laughs> Dude, Cosmo's been there. Of course you have, Cosmo. Is there any countries you haven't gone to, Cosmo, that you want to? guessing that there's not that many people in Mongolia because of just like the harsh weather but I don't know wonder why okay one more round for our bonsai pot and then we'll be done thank you for the little hearts whoever is pressing that I appreciate it um all right I'm on my last round Slip stitch one, chain one, but working in the back loops only half the crochet. Okay. Can do, pass Lou. Slip stitch, chain one, and then we're half double crocheting all the way around. That's pretty easy. 
All right, guys, so this is going to be my last round. Then we will announce the winner of our giveaway. Um, last chance to enter the giveaway if you'd like to. Link is in the description of this video for how to enter. So this is your last chance, and we'll announce the winner on the stream. Also, again, if you haven't entered the Club Crochet Challenge, um, not this giveaway, but we're doing a secondary giveaway where if you crochet a cactus, you'll have a chance to win a the... Um, under the sea seasonal crochet kit that you can see right there right there right there um, It's next month's kit uh, which will go on pre-order next week So if you are interested in that all you need to do is crochet a cactus Okay, Cosmo Cosmo says they haven't been to Japan yet. Ooh, I've been somewhere you haven't uh, But we're going to go but then oh, okay. Well, I highly suggest that Japan is dope doesn't have the harshest weather it's just the four seasons interesting I always thought that it got like super crazy cold there but I guess not I guess not oh my god your picture is you is is strangling Kermit <laughs> that's funny oh thanks leaf sauce okay one last round here. Just some half double crochets. And then I got to get ready for my board game date night. Not with Jules, but with a friend. Still counts as a date. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't seen him in a long time. And I'm going to show him Lava Run and Stitched. So, yeah, I got to I gotta keep my wits about me. good suggestions for podcasts in the giveaway oh you've been growing a tree that's dope you went to see a reindeer tribe like a tribe of of reindeer or is it like a tribe in Mongolia that is called like the reindeer tribe that is super interesting though. I want to know more. I'm guessing that was crazy cold when you went to go see that Cosmo. What's my favorite board game? Yours is Pandemic. Ooh, interesting, Hannah. Uh, my fa I mean, my favorite board game is the one I made, Stitched. But my favorite board game outside of the one that I made is probably, I really like Coup. That game is really fun. I actually really like Mafia. I know it's not a board game, but I really, really like that game, but no one ever wants to play it with me because I get really competitive uh, and I'm good at it. <laughs> That's why, it's because I'm good at it, not because I'm really competitive. Uh, and let's see, what other board games do I really, really like? I do like Settlers of Catan, but I haven't played that in a long time. Um, I should just try a lot of different board games out. Okay, last stitch here. Uh, there we go. Good, okay. We need some scissors. hide this end in and then do a giveaway Jimbo you want to do a giveaway with me come here yeah look we still have a pretty good amount of yarn yeah not too bad right buddy mm-hmm
Yeah, actually, one of the reasons why I'm going to see this friend other than just to like see a new friend is is he had a really, really successful Kickstarter recently, and I really want to pick his brain about like how to run a Kickstarter because I want to do one for Lava Run. So I want his help so that I can actually publish Lava Run officially and see like what else I need to change about it. Okay, giveaway time. Let's check it out. There's our pot. So we got a pot. We got our, the branches of our tree all done. And next week we'll make the grass and put everything together and finish up our bonsai tree. But right now we are gonna choose a winner of our giveaway. So let's go ahead and um, that's the wrong form. What form was it? Ah, there it is. Okay. Wow. Guys, there was only 13 people that entered the giveaway. That's crazy. Your chances are high if you have entered the giveaway. All right. We're going to choose a random number generator. I've never had a giveaway with this few of people, which is totally fine. Four. Oop, I said it out loud. That's all right. Leslie! Our winner is Leslie! Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind is their favorite movie. I love that movie. And suggested podcast was The Dollop. Great suggestion. I love that podcast. And I will listen to that on the way down to visit my friend. So congratulations, Leslie. I don't know if you're in the chat. But congratulations. Uh, if you're not in the chat, no worries. I will send you a um, an email anyhow. And uh, thank you everybody for being so nice in the chat. Oh, you are in the chat. Congratulations, Leslie. I'll send you out a, you know what? Let me grab one actually. Show you what you actually did win. Instead of keep setting I have extra ones in here somewhere. This is what I'm going to send you, Leslie. By the way, these are in the shop if you would like to get one. Little adorable Jimbo pins. Look at how cute he is. Oh my God, it's so cute. So I'll send you one of these. And uh, thank you so much for entering the giveaway, everybody. Thank you for joining the live stream. I hope you guys had fun. I'll see you guys next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, where we'll finish up the bonsai tree. Um, special thanks to Jules for joining the stream. Uh, and yeah, pasta la pizza, happy hooking. Uh, and oh my God, stop. No, you hang up first. <laughs> oh my God, you're making me blush. Where's the done? There it is. Bye. <laughs> uh, I'm crazy. I'm crazy. Jimbo. Come here. Or not. Come here. He's all good. Yeah. yeah. Got it. This stream is over, but here, I'll just switch real quick just to say hi to Jimbo. Hi, hi Jimbo. Jimbo. He's so cute. Hi, Jimbo. Okay, now, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. Oh my god, no, you hang no, up. No, you. Stop. You hang up. Oh my this god, my you seat. hang up. <laughs> you hang up. You hang up. You hang up. You, Jimbo, you hang up. <laughs>